He smoked that. Mm-hmm. He smoked that. So that was my first introduction to this gentleman, uh, ESTG. And yeah, it's kind of crazy. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two. What is this? The JBP boys, bike to business. What is this? Uh, episode 424. Welcome to episode 424. I hope this mic sounds right. I'm hearing something funny in the mic. Welcome to episode 424 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest. Yeah, some of y'all is just cool. Uh, <laughs> we got Erab over here. Parks is here. Uh-huh. Savon is here. Ice is here. Corey is here. And Alex is here. Uh, Maul and Rory are on vacation. They are home, chilling. Maybe Savon will check on them shortly. I got you. We will see. We'll see how we feel about that. Uh, but hopefully everybody as well. In the meantime, how are you guys doing? I'm great. Well, blessed. Doing all right. That cold smacked the shit out of me <laughs> when I walked outside. But other than that, I'm yeah, good. It's cold, it's cold, to, today? Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure today. It's That's privilege. That's New York privilege. It's not that It's not that bad. It's I know it's bad today. I, went, I went to the video yeah. store. Today. <laughs> but we were spoiled. I went to the cafe with, with, with uh, a jacket on. I was and I looked at you like you was crazy while I had my North oh, Face yeah, on. No <laughs> like, yeah. It was cold. It's cold yeah, today. It's a little cold. White, outside. white people crazy. operate differently in the cold. That's that's, that's that's the first thing I said when I saw Parks yeah. with a t-shirt on outside. <laughs> I said, damn, he's really white boy right now. I'm with yeah. you. I don't think it's that bad out here. New York is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's no snow. There's no rain. It's a vibe out here. Things are about to open up. Uh, they've changed the capacity rules for restaurants, mm-hmm. weddings, receptions, all nice. things of that nature. Broadway is still closed. Shit feels right out there. I got it's my nice... first shot, man. Hey, got shout my first out to shot. you. How you feeling? Feel great, man. First couple of days, my arm was felt like I uh, got hit with a baseball bat or something. But nah. but other than that, I'm cool. Yeah, I look a little off. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> tell me about good. tell me about the experience. Where did uh, you go? Was we, it difficult? We went to I forgot what the place was called. Um, Rem had to get it for work, so uh, she she worked that out, and then it turned out her uncle was kind of running the place. So he was like, "Yo, you can bring people. They have like a list, I guess, if you work there." So we got on the list, me and, me and Brian, who painted the paintings in the back, and we went and got, got some vaxes. Johnson & Johnson? Uh, Moderna. Moderna. Yeah, the Johnson two, two shots. One. Yeah. Okay. So All right. Yeah. And, and, um, and, Pfizer. and Ice, before we started recording, was talking about uh, the vaccination process and how he's excited to go get it. Yeah, man. I'm trying to be big vaxxed. Right? I'm trying to be big vaxxed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not eligible in, in Jersey for another 10 days, so... I gotta wait till the. You're not like a um, essential worker. Nah. Oh. Well, well, yeah, but not in not. It's just tiers of essential. So no. So you're not essential. You're not that essential. So no. Uh-huh. So so you kind of essential. Yeah, yeah. Semi essential. <laughs> Barely essential. <laughs> okay. So, uh, does anyone want to talk about rest in peace, Marvin Hagler? First and foremost, mm-hmm. uh, that was disturbing, but even more so was the report that. Uh, he died over vax uh, vaccination complications. Oh, is that so? Damn, I didn't. That's know that. what I didn't it. Know that that's what it said, and I didn't see many reports on it. Was that mm-hmm. official or was that like a YouTube report? Uh, I didn't get that from YouTube. Well, his wife is talking on the New York Post. Oh, okay. Saying she said that he didn't die after the COVID nineteen vaccine. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, fuck. And that's his wife. <laughs> oh, damn it. So, Sorry, anti vaxxers I, I thought we had a conspiracy <laughs> theory. Ah, yeah, oh, damn it. Pretty oh. incredible source, too. Fine. Yeah, Sorry, Joe. I think you can take her word for that. <laughs> All right, fine. Rest, rest in peace to Marvin Hagler. Uh, uh, what else? What else? What else is and going on? Real quick, Sean Bradley. Oh, yeah. Not rest in peace, but just tragedy while we yeah. there, while, we, while you was there. I don't like that so many people thought of me during that news break. <laughs> I thought of you. I, I, I definitely. That's just foolishness. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> I thought of you. Uh, yeah, I'm not Sean Bradley. Well, your content. Uh, I'm not. Uh, no, it's not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, telling, I'm telling you guys, I'm not. <laughs> um, what happened with uh, Sean Bradley? Uh, bike accident. Paralyzed. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. Tragic. Yeah, Horrible story. I didn't know yeah, that it is. Part of the reason why I'm petrified of bikes. Bikes. 
if I'm being honest. Mm-hmm. Like, not because the bike is so scary, even though to me it is. Maybe I'm a chump. I don't feel like people on the road respect the bikers. Yeah. Like, if I'm in a vehicle, I might not really respect the guy that's on the side of me with a helmet. Mm-hmm. Definitely and not in the tri-state area. And that could be Damn. catastrophic. Was, yeah. I'm thinking a bike, like a motorcycle. No. Bicycle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. I took a bad spill on a bike once, and that's why I'm terrified of bikes. Any seven what six. Kind of childhood did y'all so, have? Y'all ain't ride bikes? No, I rode bikes a lot. This was I was <laughs> I was twenty I was probably twenty two, twenty three. I was living in Chicago and I uh, I had like a shirt around my neck. So it was a summer and it fell into the wheel and I went uh, face first mm, into the yeah, pavement, gotcha. lost a couple teeth. Wow, damn. Yeah. So were since then I have not ridden a bike. Were you this tall when it happened? Or were like, uh, were I was. Oh, okay. Uh, this was probably two thousand seven. Not that long ago. Damn. I'm not mad at a bicycle. I'm not talking about a bicycle. As far as a motorcycle, That's what I, thought. Uh, I know too many people that fell and landed underneath the muffler of a car and mm-hmm. then was right back on the bike a few months later. I'm not that brave. I've always wanted right. a motorcycle too, but yeah. I, I actually I'm have see. plans to, this summer to buy a motorcycle, but I'm not getting a sport bike. I'm, I'm getting a cruiser. I can't do a sport bike because the, I know me. Mm-hmm. The Dash say 200. I'm gonna try to see if, as close as I can get to that 200. You, you have a new baby. Exactly. Can't work. That's why I wouldn't do that. Yeah, but, <laughs> wouldn't do that. What, are you, what are you talking about? That's why I would not get a sport bike. I did the Rebels a lot this summer. That was fun. Because they only go about 25 miles an hour, so that's cool. I, I'd get a slingshot, though, which What's is that? classified as a bike, but it's not. A, listen, I am not letting parks and ice. Geek me out this entire episode <laughs> Get because, ready, buddy. because Maul and Rory are not here. That's you you two are into all of this gadget, <laughs> wiry, in aux output, <laughs> aux cords, <laughs> whatever. You guys. Bag. It's a thunderbolt. Yeah, I don't want to hear any no, of that geeky shit. We're not, we not auxing nothing. Yeah. It's, it's, it's all max. I was I was glad that we took off. Uh, and and uh, shout out to Cash App, the mm-hmm. app that uh, sponsors us, powers us, empowers us, tolerates us, puts up with our bullshit. Greatest app in the world. Shout out to y'all. Mm-hmm. Uh, we took off last week. And I was happy about that because I didn't have to come in here and discuss the Grammys. <laughs> For a few years, I've been saying podcasters have to get with the idea that you got to come in here and talk at a time where maybe you're just not ready to talk mm-hmm. about shit. Maybe it's cool to shut the fuck up, not share your opinion, just think something foul about somebody that somebody else don't have to know. Mm-hmm. So the Grammys happened mm-hmm. and we didn't record. And I was thrilled about that aspect of it. You like the Grammys? I loved the Grammys. Me too. I thought it was great. Me too. I was really, inter- really, really entertaining. But I had a lot of truthful takes and opinions about what was going on. Mm-hmm. And I didn't want to come in here and have to tell the truth Uh-oh. about some of the stuff that I observed. <laughs> so y'all love the Grammys. because I, I, I You didn't like the show? You're a hater. Wait, what are we talking about? The, the Grammys. Show. This this year. This you year. You said the show. Yeah, the so show you're this about year. The performances or the awards? Because that's part uh, the of that's all the show. Be... That's all the show. Yeah, the awards. I didn't, are no, I didn't, be I didn't enjoy the Grammys then. Damn. You didn't oh, see, enjoy the show. Uh, this is uh, when no, I'm. No, I, I did not enjoy it. Oh, he's the... about to sit here and tell the truth about things. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, oh, I, I did I like not it. enjoy the, the Rock Nation show. No, I did not. Rock Nation got some of the best artists, though. What's not to enjoy? Most of the artists. Like, what's not to enjoy about it? You're telling me that Meg Thee Stallion wins every award that she was nominated in? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Why? Because she's Meg. <laughs> oh, so it's not because of the, the people that showed up right when when Beyonce gets ready to win the tying and record-breaking award and the camera stays on them the entire time. Mm. It has nothing to do with them, right? I didn't even correlate those two things. Okay. Well, I, I did. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it. I ain't stupid. And, Y'all could pull the wool over everybody else's eyes. We know what y'all did. I'm coming in here to say how phony I am. We knew that, though. Yeah. <laughs> Words. Words. We knew that. That's probably Really? Yeah. 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 Bro, I thought yeah. I was keeping it a secret all this time. Nah. I'm coming in here. And listen, these Grammy Awards made me come face to face with my phoniness, man. Finally. So, so. <laughs> Damn. So let's unpack it all. Let's do it. Let's unpack it all. And I got some interesting takes here. Okay. I loved the Grammys. What a show. <laughs> what a display of black excellence. I loved the awards. I loved the performances. I loved all the people I hated. I loved the labels. I loved Payola. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. That was it. Oh, Yo, was I love teams uh, moving their weight around to get all of their artists mm-hmm. nominated mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. winning. And performing. Are you kidding me? And performing. So, let's get into how phony I am. <laughs> and let's start with the baby. Mm. Okay. The baby. Oh, he started the show. The okay. baby's a pop star. He is. Yeah. He is. He's we can put that one to bed. Hey, we can put that to bed. I would have never argued that, cause who knows? Mm-hmm. But I heard his, I heard his feature on the Dua Lipa record. There you go. Says and he star. says, yeah. we're pop stars. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He's definitely a pop. And star. the S was plural. That put that one to bed. Right Which Rory is here, so I can tell him <laughs> the baby's a pop star. Got if you cool. didn't know. Now you know. Look at the look at the Grammys. That's a pop star. What the Grammys is, and I feel bad for all of the other artists. I feel bad for the art other artists at the labels because what the Grammys is is a reminder as to who keeps the lights on at the labels. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is a stark reminder of who the label deems as important mm-hmm. and how much is into them. I normally hate all of those people. <laughs> Whoever the label is really into, I don't know about. That's mm-hmm. not how I bump into my music. Yeah. Uh, that's not who I champion and support because that's not how I'm built. But on this night, you're feeling it. Well, the baby killed somebody. <laughs> yeah, self, I think they did it right, though. Self, self defense. Word. I'm just walking you through my train of thought this night. Okay. Mm-hmm. The Grammys opened up. <laughs> Okay, okay, I get it, I okay, get it. all right. Yeah, yeah, with a killer. Yeah. yeah, with a killer. No, with no. a guy. Mm-hmm. With a guy who was that when, in self defense. When you challenged him and his. When you yes. Did. But wait, wait, wait. See, killer just comes with such a negative connotation. I know, he's a self defense. Yeah, 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 we never yeah, said got, well, who, whether he was justified or not. Hey, they ran up on him and his family, mm-hmm, and he mm-hmm. did what he had to do. Mm-hmm. Right. But I think and it, that was years ago, mm-hmm. and the law has not made this a thing. He's vindicated in that fact. Mm-hmm. Right. And now he's opening the Grammys with two elderly white people dancing behind oh, he him. He had a squad. Yeah, nah, he did it. <laughs> he <laughs> look he, it, look he it. did like the judges. Yo, he did everything it. he was supposed to do. He That's set right. up the fake Grammys for his daughter to walk the right, red right. carpet. I was mm-hmm. He I was showed dope. up, killed the awards. I don't like how they didn't give Anthony Hamilton any uh, screen time. I was like, is that Anthony Hamilton? It sounds like Anthony Hamilton. They never showed him. And at the end, they're like, oh, Anthony Hamilton. Give the guy some shine, man. Shout anyway. out Anthony Hamilton. Yeah. <laughs> but the Grammys opened up for me. What a killer. Strong. A self-defender. With a self-defender. <laughs> a self-defender. I think a killer is somebody who goes to look to kill. Nah. That's enough. He, he killed because kill. somebody <laughs> wants to go kill him. Oh, Listen, my man, God. You kill, you are Where the guys? I'm not doing that. Where? You uh, kill, you kill, kill take it. on it. I, I'm not doing killer that. You know what I'm saying? Wait, what? Nah. Tell him. Tell him, Savon. Let's hear it. Because when you call somebody a killer, you put something on their name. And I, I don't want to put anything on his name. Wait. That's what I'm putting on your name. Because he didn't go out and look to kill somebody. Somebody came for him and he did what he had to do. Can so I, I don't want to just call him a killer. Technically, yeah, he's a killer. But he, he's not somebody going out is, looking to kill people. Is Gucci That's man sick. a killer? Um, he killed somebody as well in self-defense. Is he a killer? He's a self-defender. He's killed somebody, yes. I'm not calling somebody a killer. I think a killer comes with a certain intent. They didn't have the intention. They had the intention to <laughs> defend themselves. Maybe that's a murder. Yo, what the hell is Saquon saying? Like that, that's that's a murder. Right, man. Because you know, you know, first degree defenders. murder has to have intent and act. So maybe that's a murderer you're thinking of, not a killer. Maybe. I just don't yeah, like the con- I don't like the connotation like. of it. That's that's for me. That's just like for you. That's for me. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna say, hey, a killer opened up the Grammys. Nah, somebody came for him and he did what he had to do. And he killed them. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. All right. I'm absolutely. Just gonna the same but my argument. I agree with you when my when when I'm making my argument to like a significant other like hey some lies is good <laughs> like <laughs> you can't bunch all liars together well, I true. mean the best for you when I be lying I'm lying to you for you really yeah, yeah. so I support you in that but, thank you but anyway the Grammys opened with someone who's a self defender yeah and he is the priority at the label and mm-hmm. that brought a smile to my face. Mm-hmm. Then he left, changed clothes, came back, do a leap. He's on a pop record now. He was all over the place, mad jewelry. He looked great, melanated skin glistening off the, the fucking screen. I love that. Mm-hmm. And then I was reminded, holy shit, this is CBS. <laughs> <laughs> this is CBS. Mm-hmm. 
Oh yeah. shit, yeah. <laughs> it's lit. So oh, yeah. that was how I started. I okay. started with, oh, look at what hip hop is doing. I see this. I see this. I see this. Yeah. We Every performer they brought out, I loved most of them. I only turned when Taylor Swift came out because that's not my bad. Yeah. Same. But they, then I went back. I wasn't and, even mad how they started the uh, country set with a uh, a black woman singing about being black in America mm-hmm. in a country format. I was like, okay. Yeah. That's a nice way to make someone like me who's never going to listen to the country set listen Listen to the country set for a minute. Mm -hmm. They remember the the uh, the backlash about you know the white boys with the (laughs) with the torches. So they like, all right, listen, we're gonna make sure. Yeah. You know, you call it pandering, catering, whatever. We're gonna make sure we keep certain folk happy this time. Mm -hmm. We're gonna, you know, this is their attempt at doing it right. So, so the the, so the Grammys, the report came out that the ratings were down by ten million, right? But for me, another reason why I enjoyed the Grammys was this small little tidbit here. And I have no facts. This appeared to be a stick up on numerous fronts. Mm -hmm. Stick up season is in effect. It's Mm -hmm. a pandemic. Mm -hmm. It's quarantine. The contracts we thought we had to deliver on networks. Mm -hmm. Some of them flaked. We can't promise how to drive ratings in certain blocks. For me, CBS has a stick up here. I don't know that CBS wants to show Meg and Cardi grinding on each other. But I think that in a pandemic, (laughs) absolutely, with whoever handles the Grammy contract saying, yo, dog, this is what's getting it done this year. Mm. Sorry. And this is going to be everywhere. I think CBS Mm -hmm. is up against a little wall. I don't know that, but it appeared that way. I also think mm-hmm. that the performers and the winners were able to negotiate differently than they've been able to in the <laughs> past with the Grammys and the Grammy board. You think they gave them the, uh, yeah, we'll pull up if you give us one? Jay boycotted the Grammys. I know. Word. Right. And in case you thought that boycott disappeared, he was there. Jay wore <laughs> black jeans and a black hoodie and a black long coat and told his hairstylist to do the Bob Marley look in his hair. There's a Bosque look. Bos- yeah, yeah. Bos- Whatever Bos- it is. Sure. Whatever it is. It's something <laughs> symbolic of something good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not Bob Marley. That's the, that's the beacon of hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of them dudes. Yeah, he's, he's the Yo, he doing he's that. Some he's nigga had that shit. Yeah, the that's, that's how you gotta show up when you say you don't care, though. He took the picture with his wife. His wife was in all black. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love that. They hugged mm-hmm. up. They hey, th- those things. I love that. Those things are symbolic. That, that's, that's a statement. Those, those things are symbolic of something mm-hmm. to Joe. Mm. So I'm championing this so far. So if you think that I don't think that Rock Nation or somebody got on the phone with the Grammy board and said this is how this is going to go, absolutely. <laughs> Meg is winning everything. Yeah. Or else, it's Beyonce like, will walk up there with her and say a few words, and she's gonna become the biggest and Grammy she, winner and, and of all she's time. Gonna break the record, set, yeah. and, set we, and break the record. We Again, also gonna twice. give her the record that we nobody ever heard. Don't I, <laughs> that, that was him. I said that, not Joe. I had to go <laughs> not, with that not record. Joe. Like, what the fuck? What is this? Something that we've developed oh, on this okay. podcast is learning when to massage our relationships. <laughs> uh, I would never hey, say such a thing. <laughs> But Ice did. The views cool. of Ice Safe are only job. from Ice. Listen, Don't she she the won job. the award. If you're asking me, I think conversations were had. Like, mm-hmm. that's what I think. Uh, and that being said, Savage was a, one of the biggest songs of last year. So it's She deserved like, every inch of it. It's she not did. like it was a reach giving her, uh, her and Beyonce a, a million awards for well, one for, of the biggest songs of last year. To me and to me only, it's a reach when the Grammys get it right. Oh, mm-hmm. fair. It's like Nas winning this year uh-huh. to me mm-hmm. is back to the stick up. Congratulations to Nas. First You're grade. fucking right. Congratulations to Nas. Yes, congratulations to Nas. I love Thank that. He Congratul- earned that. I, I that. thought it was album of the year. Yeah. Freddie mm-hmm. Gibbs tweeted, "I rap better when I'm angry." I wanted to hit him back and say, "What you angry about?" <laughs> That's good that you rap better when you're angry. True. But what are you angry about? It's Go still, listen to Nas album. It's still a win though. For, for Gibbs to be nominated, it's yeah. win for Royce. Yeah. So win for everybody that was nominated. And congrats I mean, I have to my uh, own thoughts about the entire group that's nominated. But again, I'm happy Nas won. Out of mm-hmm. out of who was up there, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, I mean, of course, we want to see Royce get it, but I, I, yeah. yeah. But <laughs> you again, hating on D Smoke? <laughs> but we want to see who that is. <laughs> Yo, we gotta stop doing that too. I like D Smoke. I like no, D Smoke. No, no, no. I'm, I like D Smoke. I'm, I'm not, you might. I, we be killing him on this pod, and I like D Smoke. I like D Smoke. I don't just, know who that is. I'm that album wasn't perfect, a big I'm enough album, honest. in my opinion, to be Grammy nominated. What record? 
like I'm not trying to be funny. I've yeah. never heard of these. I've I've seen the name. I don't know. He was on the musical. Netflix show with Cardi and. But what that that's not music. I know. What, what's the song? I see why you didn't start a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a shot. No, no, that's not that's a shot. Not a shot. I see what's going on. That's not a shot at anybody. Never heard the album. It's, it's definitely I a shot. I don't know your music. It's I'm a shot. I don't know your music. No, that's a shot. And he knows music, so it might be a shot because that's you a actually shot. know music. But, I thought, but no, D you claim Smoke, music. someone could D say Smoke, I only know more popular music. D Smoke is Sir's brother. They're twins. Yep. D Smoke raps. He won the Netflix show. Mm-hmm. Sir sings. I don't think twins, he's though. on TV. They just look like twins. I know well, they, Sir. They look like twins. They look like twins. Okay. I don't think they're actually twins. I just never knew the. I can't but explain further, but I like okay, D Smoke. Okay, but see, I no, D Smoke is so D Smoke is really dope. So Nas winning for me was the Grammys' attempt at saying, "Hey." We're going to do some things correctly. Ice-T won as well for uh, Best Heavy Metal Band uh, Body Count. So, I congratulations see? to the OG. That was in this oh, one. Wow. Yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah, congratulations, man. Uh, a lot of this stuff was the pre... Did you guys watch the pre-show, too, where they just quickly ran no, down? I'm not illusion. I, I, I watched the pre-show <laughs> via, via the Grammys <laughs> Twitter. No, no I, I was... That's what I did. Just, yeah. 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 I didn't have to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you wasn't feeling the pre-show? I was, Nobody I was, I, watched the pre-show. You wasn't feeling the I was, pre-show? I was busy at 6.45. When, <laughs> when, when, does, when does that come on? What, uh, it was what, early. What, it was what did Terrence J do? <laughs> no, it was, uh, it, it was Janae. Janae was the host. Don't do that. I'll fuck with Terrence J, Alex. Don't do that. <laughs> no, that's my guy, too. It was oh, Janae. Yeah, Alex's man. Yeah, I don't understand it, why they can't put some of that stuff like on the actual award show because they were just going through the list like yo Nas won yo Ice T won yeah, yo like, like that, you can do that in the main shit. It was coming out on tweets. Mm-hmm. I was like oh shit, okay oh this is one all right. Cool. Them shit was just back to back. Yeah, you could, I, you could do that in the show. I love this Doja Cat girl. I do. Mm. Yeah, I love. Bitch, I'm, I'm a cat. I told everybody she before, was dope. Y'all, y'all could miss me with that. Yo, we canceling Doja Cat. That ain't happening. Like she's, she's but I dope. didn't know. So when they said that, I was one of the guys to cancel her. I went yeah, and saw no. the little tiny chat thing. Yeah. I don't care. Where she may have been offensive and mm-hmm. with some KKK racist yeah, people. Yeah, showing feet in the chat room. But, so, but, I was, but I wasn't fucking with her because her entryway to this thing was Bitch, I'm a, Bitch, I'm I'm a, a Cat. Which is a certified mm. classic record. Yeah. Certified. I, hate. Hey, I play it Christmas every year. Moo. She's a performer too. <laughs> <laughs> She, she she's a performer. <laughs> she is. She she's good but in front of the what? camera. Well, all right, all right. Her her entry record kind of dictates the way that injured you gotta do some gimmicky shit to get on, trick the people to follow you, and then show them your talent. Yeah. That's been happening. Yeah. But she's the, key the first is, person to do that. She just did it in a more funny way to me than most people. I can do, name a I couple like. of other artists that have done that and, and been super successful with mm-hmm. gimmicky shit from the rip. Mm-hmm. And then once I get you wheeled, I get you reeled in. Now mm. it's hey, look. Now, now I can, I'm actually I, dope. No, I'm, I'm actually dope. Yeah. I can rap. I got yeah, talent. Well, bitch, I got I'm this. a cow. But even the baby, <laughs> the baby <laughs> walking around That's in a pamper. Shit in the video. Like, You're it not a goofy. Cow. It worked, right? Like, the, the, <laughs> it worked. It, it worked, worked, right, Joe? But it worked. The baby walking around in a pamper. Right. Mm-hmm. Like that's a gimmick. Right. That's a gimmick. Savon, you're an idiot because babies. <laughs> in pampers he's, 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 he's a what, grown man so that according sense. to you is a killer a grown man he's that's a, a killer defender. a self defender <laughs> but in their definition a killer walking around in a pamper is a gimmick but so listen so this is where I was faced with my own contradiction and I do believe that humans are just walking contradictions of course yeah. Doja, everyone's a hypocrite Doja Cat comes out I was a little finicky because y'all told me to cancel her cool <laughs> I'm yeah, phony. I, I thought you she killed. Call, I thought, me on that I thought she killed you. her performances. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought she looked thick in a little robot outfit. I was like, oh, what a hot robot! No, she, <laughs> what a hot bot! She got it. <laughs> she, she, she got it, bro. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't tell her she had a fatty back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's for me to know. Yeah, it's for you to find out. Uh, for me to know. For you to find out. So dog. listen. So I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to commit. <laughs> and then an hour later, I'm sitting there watching with Corey. And who strolls out? You guessed it. Post below. Mm. I start going crazy. <laughs> Listen, I don't care if y'all laugh at me. Joe goes crazy when Post Malone comes out. Mm. He's dope. He is dope. That's nasty, though. Have you ever heard mm-hmm. Hollywood Hollywood's yeah. bleeding? Yes, for sure. If you didn't, I just wish he, he did it that night. Have you ever bled in Hollywood? <laughs> no, nah, nah, never nah. bled in Hollywood. Nah. Sorry. Uh, they ain't get there with it. But so, Post Post so, Malone, I apologize. I, I same way as Doja Cat. I wrote him off. I didn't like that white Iverson. I didn't do that white Iverson stuff. That was stuff. the reason why I didn't like him. Oh, okay. not, and, and not even that the song was bad. 
Everybody know I'm an really Iverson fan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're the biggest Iverson fan <laughs> in the world. That's you have an Iverson, Iverson tattoo? When I met no. you, you was wearing an Iverson jersey. I was like, damn, bro, it's 2020. <laughs> seven pair of Iverson sneakers right now. Mm-hmm. Just like, Ice with the Iverson jersey. And then somebody photoshopped a Post Malone vid of him saying the N word. Ooh. Photoshops? Yeah. I didn't <laughs> they photoshopped him. the video. Yeah. Yeah. It was a deep yeah, fake. A deep fake. <laughs> I, don't was, I don't think it was him, but I sat with how phony I am. Like, damn, why do I accept Post Malone this way? And nobody else. Like Justin I, Bieber. I pushed Biebs through the fuck. Pushed him through the ringer. He dropped some shit today. Justin yeah, I'm gonna challenge you on that. I'm I'm gonna challenge you on that. I'm defending the Biebs, bro. He pushed Timberlake too. Yeah, well, I'll for defend sure. him too now that he sure. dropped some heat. Some shit he been dropping heat though. Nah, some no, shit on he that. been dropping heat. I like this. No, he been dropping heat. Some Hold on, let's go on. Stick, stick, uh, stick to this. Stick to this nah, bullshit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When we get to music, I'm gonna hold your feet to the fire a little bit, y'all. Because I've been doing. sitting on the sideline, and I don't really like the energy you bring to Justin Bieber because you hold him accountable for some shit he did when he was young. But I think he's one of the very few. And we talk about pop stars. He's one of the few pop stars that are trying to get it right, and he's actively doing it. Like your man Post Malone. Cool. All these allegations, whatever. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just saying. What do you mean all these? Wait, it's not all he these. Culture vulture. People have called him a culture vulture. And he's never, re- but he's never defended it. He kind of leans into, hey, I'm a rock star, fuck hip hop, all of this shit. I mean, he doesn't make hip hop music. I mean, I, yeah, he's not a let, let me reply because mm-hmm. I'm here with my cape to defend Post Malone. I'm with you on that too, by the way. How is he a culture vulture? He don't rap. He don't make music for He ain't for trying to make hip hop music. He ain't trying to make nothing that appeals mm-hmm. to you. Even the White Iverson was record. Was White Iverson hip hop? That's For what I'm saying. Sure. I don't think it really was. Nah. It, it was sing songy, vibey. I don't fan. think that's that hip hop. Fan, fan. Record. He's up here dressed as the Undertaker. <laughs> There's people that look like they're going to take your life all around him. And he's, he's, like and he's singing. He's like Nelson tattoos. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Because this is my real thing. And he's really singing, unlike that Silk Sonic. Don't oh, do that. We're not doing that, bro. We're not doing that. Now here you go. That one would be classic. Now you bugging. Now you bugging. Shit, you talking about it. Real quick, real quick. We're not about to do that. Out of the group, which one are you talking about? So Sonic is two. So out of the group, which one is your It don't matter who you're talking about. It does matter. It don't matter. It matters. It don't matter. No, it don't. It matters. I'm a provocateur. What's the word for what I'm doing? <laughs> provocateur. I'm, I'm an antagonizer. We're not getting, we're not getting a, a bender of shot. truth. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. So, we're yeah, we're not doing that. Let me get back to, uh, come on, slow yeah. down. We're speeding. Let me get back yeah. to Savon's point. Mm-hmm. The Beebs. The Beebs. I forgive people when it seems like they're apologetic. One. Mm-hmm. I didn't really like his apology about the shit. And he harmonized. I hated that. He harmonized nigger, and I didn't like his apology about it. Held the note. Well, he harmonized it, and it was fire, first off. Was but it? Nah, it was. my boy. No, he was getting it off. He was getting it <laughs> he off. Was he was get, he, in my he was getting it off. But it's outside of him harmonizing it. <laughs> I don't yo, think you know good harmonies. Can, yo, can yeah, we, wait. Can, no, we, no, can no, we, no, we mute his mic? <laughs> no, you, can, can that be a thing? Say, man, you can't say that as I'm a just, black man in America that he was getting word. it off. He got it off because he was harmonizing. Boy, you shit. said the harm. I'm just talking about the harmony. You Fuck what he said. No. I'm not a fan of what he said. And And like I said, then we, how we, we going backwards, I bro? We, I gotta hear this. You, you gotta look at the person for what he's trying to do today. Like, if you go on his Instagram, he's one of the few pop stars that's speaking out on a lot of the issues oh, you that people don't do. It. <laughs> oh, you a believer. You a believer. You a believer. I took your shit. Say the wrong way. You a believer. Regardless, bro. Okay. I, I, now I get I'm it. Now I get it. Wait, wait, wait. Can you email it? Can you email it? Because we shit on pop stars all the time for taking the sound, taking the vibes of the culture, and he's been accused of that. Am he's I right? He's done it. He's done it. Yeah, it ain't even been accused. He's, he's, he's still doing it. it. But he's the, <laughs> the right. few. He's never stopped doing it, ever. <laughs> but he's in the minority of saying, hey. No, he's what? He's a majority. Th- okay, he's a majority in that sense. But he speaks to it. And he's he says, like, yo, this shit ain't right. Or the, this or, black and white shit. Like, he speaks to some or, of the Black Lives on. Matter movement, the Breonna Taylor stuff. Like, I follow the nigga on, uh, on uh, social media. Don't call, and I don't see call it. that. Oh, you believe the <laughs> yeah, poem? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you invite him to the, to the cookout. I'm that's not, what bro, yeah. but... Oh, you believe the poem he wrote. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was at. Like, it's the actions too, though, fam. Hello to the blacks. So I what did actions? I, I, didn't mean, I didn't mean to attack. <laughs> what I said was whack. <laughs> and as a man of fact, you fell for that? What did he say? You still listen to Sabrina Claudio, right? Yes. I do. Okay. 
and I'll fuck her. Yeah, that's the reason why I'm <laughs> listening to her, to be honest with you. I'm joking. I'm, no, I'm not. joking. No, we're not, I'm not. I am joking. No, we not. I, I'm joking, but what's okay. your point? Give it to me. But nah, she did a, a similar thing. Some racist she shit. She has never harmonized nigga. You don't know what she Not to her knowledge. And we see, <laughs> well, I've never we've heard it. <laughs> but we've seen what and she and done on social media yeah. speaking to black women. Right. And okay. now you still listen to her music. You champion whatever you champion. Like, you just got to keep that same energy, in my opinion. Just because he's a little bit bigger and just because you don't like the word, the way that it happened, it's still the same offense. Racism is racism. But if you, I haven't heard a word from uh-huh. her. Have you heard from Sabrina Claudia? Yeah, I play yeah, it every yeah. morning in the shower. <laughs> take from this morning. Yo, take did, care of me. She did the Instagram do, do, notes do, do, do. apology. Yeah. She apologized. Okay, and then there's silence after that. What when Brianna when, when Brianna Taylor gets killed or when anybody, when there's a travesty in the black community, you don't hear her. You don't hear a lot of these people. That's all I'm saying. Like, okay, so, okay, don't, okay, don't pick okay. and choose okay. his own. Shut up. <laughs> okay. So he, he uses his you platform. Tell him. Shut up. What you tell for him the fight. But whether what you, you say? believe him or not, because the he's platform taking is the... being used. Uh-huh. He's being used. I, I get what he's saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> he, 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 was a he, he, he uses his platform for the fight. So Can he stop because playing? of it? <laughs> Can he still say it? I'm trying to get him. Are you giving him the pass to still say it because he uses his platform? Say what? Nigga. No, never that. I'm never give, I, I'm not giving him a pass for saying this shit. Yeah. I'm not giving him a I'm pass. I'm just asking you. So he said it oh, again. Yeah, yeah, nah, I'm not you, giving him a nah, pass for it. Nah. Anyway, he dropped some heat. <laughs> he dropped some heat. <laughs> he dropped some heat, man. Like, and I've been sitting on the sideline nah, listening. Nah, nah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Justin Bieber. Wait, man. wait. Time out. Not, time out. Time out. You gave me a mic. Yeah, time out. <laughs> Savon, What's I up? apologize. It may be my PTSD. <laughs> but you keep, you keep saying I've been sitting on the sidelines and it's just triggering me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you unhappy? <laughs> Have you been unhappy on the sidelines? I'm, I'm, I'm good on the sidelines. Right. I'm you good on good? the I'm straight. <laughs> Hey, I'm listen, straight. we don't have to debate this because oh, this is man. what I thought for two seconds when I was watching the Grammys and I didn't want to tell anybody. Mm-hmm. It was, damn, some of these people I've been killing for saying the, the N-word, they love us. <laughs> like, <laughs> they love us. They just wanted some attention, needed to figure out a way in and then apologized. And it's the, it's the, same, love, shit. It's the same shit these clothing brands beeps, do when Gucci make the mask. Those, those, those beeps, it's the uh, same shit. Bitch, I'm a cow. That was not his. I got to I gotta, I gotta get the hit. Gotta get the light on. Listen, so let me do something. A lot of people. Let's keep this moving. A lot of people laughed at me for my Silk Sonic take about them being too perfect. I and, and now and then they performed. And it was perfect. And give, it, yeah. give it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody yeah. talk to it me. It was perfect. Somebody talk to me. It was perfect. Hey, those are my guys. Yeah. It was perfect. perfect. That shit was perfect. That song that is shit. beautiful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that song is song of the year mm-hmm. probably so mm-hmm. far. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That performance was perfect. Yeah. Y'all was, niggas is too perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all need to go find mistakes. Yeah, yeah. fuck up every once in a while. But, but, There's beauty in the right. mistakes. What I, what I don't like about Silk Sonic, a- they too talented to do the bullshit they was doing on Twitter. Oh, I hated that. Oh, my I God. That. Like, it's disgusting. And it goes back to the, the I'm a cow shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, leave that for well, the Well, tell the people who, what you're talking about. What, what were they doing on Twitter? The fake, uh, they they in fake rollout. What, yeah, some it was a no, rollout. it was a real rollout. Oh, yeah, it was a rollout. But they they beefing with each other on Twitter. Then the Grammys jump in. Hey, you know we agreed to have you guys perform. Can y'all pack? like just fake arguing with each other on yeah. Twitter to get people talking about you? Oh no, we talked to Kai. It's Kai when Kai's called yeah. last week, and he was like, "That's oh, just that so that that's, that's so that corny." I, I don't want to see super talented people resort to those tactics. Lead that for the the people who. I gotta find you. Bruno Mars can drop anything without a word. We're gonna run and listen to it. Mm. Facts. You don't have to trick us with this rollout shit on the internet. Yeah. For a live performance at that. Well, I'm gonna push back on that. Bruno Mars can drop anything he wants whenever he wants because the name Bruno Mars comes with whatever the credit check is that comes with that. Mm-hmm. Um, if Bruno Mars, if you call Best Buy and say, hey, Bruno Mars is dropping, they're gonna order a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you say Silk Sonic is dropping, they don't have any credit report anywhere. We don't know what that means. Even mm-hmm. when you say it's Anderson Pack and Bruno Mars, we still don't know how it will perform. Mm-hmm. And from the label standpoint, we need this to perform like this, and we still need Bruno to drop and perform like that. That's why we're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's just it still whack. whack though. <laughs> it's just whack. Like come up with something else. Yeah, I'm with that's you. whack. That was whack. That's all. That's all to me. I watched yeah, that. I got clear, this. They're I going, disgusted, they're going against. Let's talk about the people that performed at the Grammys. Mm. We talked about the baby. I like their other performers too. He's by a the star. way, the Chuck Chuck Berry uh, 
Or was it Chuck? No, Little Richard uh, tribute. That was yeah, dope okay. too. Mm. Yeah. Um, Meg and Cardi stars. Mm-hmm. Uh, Taylor Swift star. Lil mm-hmm. Baby star. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, back to my the baby point, when Lil Baby comes out and kills his performance, I say, wow, great that he's at the top of music. Also, somebody who I deem to blow your fucking brains out if the situation ever presented itself. I like this. Self-defense. Okay. I'm getting, get, I'm get, I'm get, I'm get getting too many stories. It's been too many horror stories over the year, past two years. Oh, of, Roddy, Roddy shit was dope, too. Of our favorite rappers that are believable dying mm-hmm. right, or getting shot or going to jail. We're not really singing the praises of some of the people that are sitting at the top of music. Last decade, when it was Drake, Cole, and Kendrick at the top, us lyricists were saying, yo, look at the people at the top. Lyricists are in. Lyricists are back. Those are the people at the top. This decade, it looks like the streets are at the top. Mm-hmm. 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 The streets are at the top. The this trenches, has, as they, as they uh, love yeah. to call it. you know, Same thing, but the new word for yeah. it is the trenches. Mm. Little baby, the baby, <laughs> shit, Janae. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Janae I, came out. I was like, look, more gangsters. Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 it's nothing but a gangster Roddy, party. Uh, yeah, yeah. Roddy, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, Roddy. Absolutely. Give it to me. Like I did. Absolutely. Like I, I enjoyed the stick up. I enjoyed the politics that a lot of people were laughing at. It was funny to me. Mm-hmm. But congratulations to Rock Nation as a whole. Congratulations to Meg. I mean, I'm not. Like, I'm not. She worked. Congratulations to Nas. Congratulations oh. to Bad Bunny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When I when I say the Rock Nation point, it's still a congratulations to him to even be able to be in that position to do that. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We couldn't do that before. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, check this out, man. My people winning, we ain't showing up. Right. So just to be able to be in that position, that's, that's fire. Good. Yeah. I love So I'm that. not gonna be a hater. I still just, you know, mm. I don't like it. I love that my son snuck his way up there. Did he? I didn't, see I didn't see that. During the little baby performance, he had the camouflage shirt on with a mask on in the back mm. with his fist oh, in the air. Go. Okay. I didn't see him. Uh, I, yeah, well, I like Killer Mike's verse. Uh, on yeah. That. yeah. That was dope. That performance was just that was powerful, very, man. That, that, that took me back to the uh, the Kendrick uh, performance mm-hmm. a couple years back. Yeah. yeah. Like, And for Lil Baby to be in that position, mm-hmm. top of the game, like you said, the streets, mm-hmm. all the youngins yeah. rock with him. Mm-hmm. To do that on that platform, mm-hmm. salute. Yeah. So my thing and, is, how could you watch the Grammys and see where hip hop is right now, and really be angered by it? You got to support every one of those acts, mm-hmm. what they stand for, what they're doing. I loved the more intimate setting at the Grammys, where it wasn't nine million people, red carpet cameras everywhere. I love, hey, only the people we need to be here are here. Right. That little kick flip after he threw the mouth tough cocktail was hilarious. <laughs> 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 he did like a windmill kick after he yeah, threw the mouth tough. Anyway. No, I thought it was cool seeing um because if you remember, Lil Baby said he was off of this kind of movement. Like he didn't yeah. he didn't want to be known as the new wave mm-hmm. um activist rapper. Yeah, he right? said he wasn't doing this. Yeah, was he it. said he, he said, was I'm not, not doing I'm not exactly. doing any more records like this. This yeah. was a one and done yeah. for me. Mm-hmm. And and so, to see him get on the Grammys almost a year later, because this came out almost a year ago. Mm-hmm. And to see him right. get on the Grammys on one of the biggest stages and 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 do what he did, like that, that's a performance. Like we know Lil Baby, he's going to rap, he's going to give you the melodies, he's going to do that. But like right. he got up there and he performed a record that he said he wasn't going to touch mm-hmm. too much. Yeah, yeah. It was so the one done for him. I, I, I like seeing that a lot. And I like it. everybody he brought on stage. Shout out to Tamika Mallory too for the poem mm-hmm. thing that she dropped in there. Yeah, yeah I seen social media fire, trying to cancel her a couple of days ago. And I'm, not, I'm not what? rolling. Tell me what y'all think of that. I'm, I'm just not rolling. Wait, what they, they, they tried to I'm, cancel who? Um, They've been basically saying that she's like, what is it? What's the performative? Performative? Yeah. 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 Like, the same thing I've seen people accuse uh, Sean King of. It's just like coming in and. I think they accuse of Sean King of. But it's not just they. This was Tamir Rice's mom. If I'm correct. Okay, see, I didn't know it started from there. I'm just, I'm just saw it on my timeline. I say, oh, y'all are finally telling the truth about her. And I'm like. It was a lot on her and Black Lives Matter, the organization, not, not the cause. I don't know enough about what she does uh, outside of the speeches and performances that she's done, so I can't speak to none of that. But when she speaks, it's usually profound and dope. yeah, that's what and impactful. And and yeah. some of us do believe that all of these causes are near and dear to her heart. That's where the confusion comes in. Mm-hmm. It's like she ain't 
she's never come off as a bandwagon or somebody right. that's gotten right. on the trendy politics and right. hey this is profitable so this is where I'm at now no she's been on this yeah mm-hmm. and I don't um, know what she did before my yeah, I knew yeah. Not, like yeah and I, I think that's a lot of things I mean I think that's something that a lot of people also have a problem with I didn't know you before this. Mm. So mm. because you're now jump you jumped out in the forefront, mm-hmm. you know, you 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 screaming it at the top of your lungs and you've become sort of a a, a face of it now. Mm-hmm. You don't deserve that because who were you before this? So it, it almost comes off as ingenuine, but I, I disagree with that. I disagree with that entirely too. I think as many people as we can get out there fighting and saying, you know, bringing attention to something, yeah. welcome them in. Exactly. I There's no time to it. be sitting there saying, oh, yo, you wasn't with us seven years ago, so your your voice, your opinion, your voice, your stance doesn't matter now. Yeah. Like, nah, man, we, we need everybody on board. Yeah. There ain't, that shit ain't no time coming, to pick and choose. I, I feel like they throw the performative label on things sometimes. And it's like it, sometimes it's okay to be. It's not okay to be performative in the actual definition of it, but like she's a performer. She does vocal performances. Like I don't care maybe what she's doing otherwise. If she's adding to the cause, mm-hmm. that's a she's continuing the conversation. Like you know what I'm saying? She's bringing more attention to something that needs a lot of attention. Yeah. So it don't matter what you've done before that. If you're using or built a platform to bring it attention to this that we need everybody looking at mm-hmm. and if you don't want to you know you, you, you it's almost you can't hate that right? yeah. important to know that it, it. it wasn't just her that was called out uh they called out uh benjamin crump the attorney uh a few people that are just involved in some of the more high profile cases that hit the news okay is there anything factual or substantial to warrant a cancellation of her not that i've seen if i lost a child it doesn't need to be for me but uh, and I'm agreeing like with everything y'all saying, but it's just crazy to me because you're not gonna know somebody until you know them. Like if we I, didn't know her because it wasn't called for at the time. None of that matters if I lost a child uh, to me. Mm-hmm. But and if I, I lost even... my child, it's not about logic. It's not about what's justifiable, understandable. Where you've been, your reputation, how this affects things, the people you are lobbying together. Mm-hmm. I lost my child. Right. I lost my child. Nothing that's happening out there can bring my child back. And just the mere utterance of his of the name mm-hmm. brings me back to a dark place. Mm-hmm. So it's cool. Perspective is important. While y'all out there championing, 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 when I hear any of that, I get brought to a dark place. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's best for me if I don't ever get to hear that. Got it. Right, right. I get that. And, and when you say you lost a child, you're speaking to Samira Rice. The mother of Tamir Rice, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. An official statement from Samir Rice, mother of Tamir Rice, and Lisa Simpson, mother of Richard Risher. Uh, Tamika Mallory, Sean King, Benjamin Crump, Lee Merritt, Patrice Culler. See, she's a long list of names. Mm-hmm. Uh, Malene Abdullah and the Black Lives Matter Global Network need to step down, stand back, and stop monopolizing and capitalizing our fight for justice and human rights. We never hired them to be representatives in this fight for justice, uh, fight for justice for our dead loved ones murdered by the police. The activists have uh, have events in our cities and have not given us anything substantial for using our loved ones' images and names on their flyers. The attorneys in our fight are also misleading the impacted families. In the case of Tamir Rice, it was even questionable as to whether Benjamin Crump knew the uh, laws in depth. Like, I don't want to read this because it's mm-hmm. messy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yes. but you can see you can yeah. see the vibe of where that's going. Yeah, yes. I have my thoughts on it for sure. Yeah. Because. I, I've never lost a child, so I can't speak from that perspective. But when it says that, you've never had a child. I've never had a child. I've never had a child. I can't. I can't speak to being a parent. Can't speak to that one either. I can't speak to even being a parent. It, 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 it but I could imagine. No, you I can't. Ima- no, no, no. Yeah, yeah I'm not, you can't. Y'all didn't even let me finish. Go ahead. I'm not Bye. saying I can imagine losing a child. I'm not saying that. I can imagine wanting somebody to bring light to a situation that maybe I feel needs to be brought light to. So if, let's say I lose a dog, if I lose a dog and my neighbor is helping me plaster the message of, hey, I lost whatever, I lost this, wouldn't that be not enough, but wouldn't that help? Is that not, that, that doesn't, to me, it doesn't concern, seem like it's a hindrance. It sounds like the concern is that they're taking money and not giving any back to So it's a, it sounds like money. Let me, let me respond to you. And likeness. That, that, yeah. would, that would help if me, the person that lost a child, feels that that's helpful. But, Got it. Yeah, that's the perspective thing. Because when you hear it from a, a, a the parent standpoint, you go, "All right, um, 
if you're not, you know, informing me about what's actually mm-hmm. happening on a day to day thing, I'm cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I don't feel, yeah. if I don't feel it's helpful, then it's harmful and it's hurtful. Got it. And okay. that and then to see you be, profiting off of yeah, it. Yeah, that should makes be it my works. decision to make. And maybe she don't want her her son's name attached to anything. And that's yeah. okay. That's a different conversation. I'm just thinking from the point of well, she like, wasn't given the the opportunity she, yeah. to even okay. say, Got and that, that's what it sounds like from this here. Yeah, we wasn't even given the opportunity yeah. to say. Yeah, we want to stand with you. Yes, use yeah. my son's name on this right here. This is you this is not did it. this is not the same point at all. But here here's a, an example for me. I lost both my dogs in 2018. Some people know that that had a huge effect on me. Yeah. Some mm-hmm. people don't. Now, now I was some, with you. Now you remember you with me when I was with you. Um, I, I, I that's when I was going to your house every day, and then we was actually in your car, and I want to say it was Harlem. It was Harlem that we dropped off at the vet and you found out the news and me and you was in the car. Just in, and I saw how that affected you. Oh, man. You don't remember that, bro? Oh. You was crying like, and, and not even to make joke of it, but it, it looked like a love and hip hop scene. Like the way that you, the tears were coming down your eyes. I was like, oh shit. I just remember like, the this group is chat text we got. No, I was with Joe when and he found like... out the news. Like, oh shit. It's, it's, oh, I was driving, this is before So. This is when I was your driver. <laughs> <laughs> and you hated my driver <laughs> But this is when I was your driver yeah, I'll say my drive real quick And it was drive? just me and you in the car And I'm like damn Can I just up. say that Network head Joe Hates how some of these sentences come out <laughs> What you mean? I was driving with you bro Like I don't even remember you being the driver But cool But cool I'll roll um, but but my point in that is I lost both my dogs in 2018 You were there Awesome mm-hmm. Right Today sometimes people be like That don't know me like, Hey man well, How's your dogs Right That's yeah. fucked up And but I'll they say don't... They both died in 2018 Oh shit I'm sorry I Had no idea Well yeah I mean it's fine It's no offense But if you don't have any idea mm-hmm. How would you have any idea Right Now imagine that If I lost a child Right. If I lost a child and did what I had to do to get whole with that, which I can't even imagine what yeah, that takes. I don't think that you ever get whole yeah, with you, that. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. And then every time I turn the TV on or pick up the phone on mm. social media, I have mm-hmm. to see my child's name from people that haven't communicated with me at all. Yeah. I could see a situation mm-hmm. where I'm, I'm, I'm upset by this. Yeah. That's yeah. actually I'm, what, that's what Pop Smoke's mom says. She said it's difficult for her to, you know, digest music from him or see anything from him. Biggie's mom said yeah, Exactly. Yeah. But right. us as fans, it's hard for us to really, you know, see that. But it's like from the inside looking in, that shit is hard. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. You guys are getting me depressed. I'm going to move on. Um, <laughs> if I didn't think the Grammys were rigged at all when they aired. They are. Yeah, but see, that's the thing about my experience watching the Grammys that night, Parks. Mm-hmm. I felt bad about having a podcast and coming in here to give my opinion on all of these takes. Mm-hmm. I felt horrible. <laughs> watching the Grammys that night, I said, oh, shit, y'all. This was never for me. Mm-hmm. It was never for me. It was. It's always been... For the casual fan that don't really know to right. drive in the sales. Right. It's not for me to right. use my industry brain to now take it and go uh, dive into the points because mm. it's not what this is for. Right. All these artists I don't listen to it's and a giant I don't, commercial. Yeah, that's giant what they're doing. And it's working. I got it. I'm so I like the people that the commercial is for today. Got it. Now, how I feel about the Grammys is the same. Uh-huh. I don't deem to get my approval rating from anywhere else. Like yeah. that's inside of me. But to the people that do, like Roddy Rich was going crazy afterward. He was saying, "Yo, man, he didn't name Kanye, but Kanye's the only one that pissed in a Grammy." He said, "Yo, you pissed in a Grammy, man. I'm nominated for six of them. How I'm supposed to feel? What do that do to my accomplishments?" Blah 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 blah. Well, what does it do, Roddy Rich? I can't expect you to know you to view things the way Kanye right. feels it. You as a first time Grammy guy and Kanye mm-hmm. toward the end tail end of his career right. as one of the richest men in America, y'all would view it differently. Mm-hmm. Kanye pissed in the Grammy, fucking Drake ate some cereal or some shit out the Grammy. Mm-hmm. Whole oh, boycotted yeah, the Grant. Yeah. Like when you when you yeah. on that, you on that. That's mm-hmm. not for the new artist to be on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you're not at that level. But if I didn't think that it was rigged at any point, they ended the night. Confirming to me that it was rigged. Billie Eilish wins an award. Oh, yeah. I don't know anything about Billie Eilish <laughs> or or her music. I completely I know that understood. She's popular. Yeah, no, I understood she's her Ill. winning. What is it? A year last ago year? or two years yeah, ago? Yeah, yeah, last year. 
Because she had a big album, and it was a good album. Like, it's not she was something everywhere. that I went back to, but mm-hmm. she was everywhere. She won the big one, right? She's she won Record of the Year. Billie right. Eilish comes up for the big one, Record of the Year, and she spends her whole time. It just came off a little odd, all of that. Yo, Meg is the one. Mm-hmm. Meg, I listen to every single mm-hmm. day. This should have been Meg, your Meg, this should have been Meg, yours. Meg. I'm giving it to the, you. The See, biggest that's moment, why I, The biggest moment of the Grammys, which is, you know, that's the big award. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to use that to throw all the spotlight on you. And that's why I have a problem? and that's why wait a minute. And that's why I I don't I, I don't care about what Rock Nation did cuz there were some artists to come up there and say it's you. It's not me, it's you. Joe thought that that speech was a little off, but I didn't understand why. Uh-huh. Until I'm watching the news and they say that the song that she won for is a song that's not out. It's a song that's not released. Uh-huh. It's a song that is attached to, to a, a soundtrack, soundtrack right? yeah. of a movie that should have been released in October, but because of the pandemic, it was not. How did you oh. win? <laughs> See, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. I, I thought didn't it was know on that. a soundtrack. I knew it was on a soundtrack. I thought it that, was that something know. that came out, though. That's crazy. It's not even out. That's, That's nuts. nuts. Insane. That is nuts. How did you win it? That's Maybe insane. it was just that good of a record. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was just that, that good of a record. No one heard it, right? Trayvon, I thought let me the Beyonce tell, Trayvon, win was me, nuts. No, that's nuts. No, that's Let me explain to you, We All us artists... All the records are good before they come out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Tell me one record Mm -hmm. that ain't good before it come out. All of us think all the shit is thriller. Mm -hmm. Well, I wasn't speaking. I don't think it was that good of a record. (laughs) But you don't know (laughs) because it didn't come out. That's the song that's like right crazy. now the song still is not it out. Didn't no, come the out. Not out. It's out. I was gonna say what you told me. I can't go listen to the song nowhere. It has to be out at this point. But I don't think she deserves it. Oh no, I, it was, I was, out, it was released as a single on November thirteenth, twenty nineteen. Oh, that's mad time for the win. Oh, then if okay. if you say that, then you don't understand submissions. I was about to say twenty nineteen. You don't under, like no. Wait, it was released when? 2019, November something. That's right. Uh, that's, that's, that's 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 you know the Grammys is that's not yeah, what they November, report. November, that's yeah. not that's not what they report on the news. Well, I don't know. Well, we like, can always news is saying it's wrong. Fine. We can Google it. We can check it out. I'm, yeah. I'm looking at the uh, Wikipedia right now. But even if they rigged it, I don't care. Right. I don't care. Like I was happy about the whole ordeal, all of it. I was, and it was a good watch. I wouldn't be mad if they returned next year doing it in a similar fashion. They they did it for Twitter. They did it for the internet, it seemed like. Um, Trevor, no, I wasn't mad at. I like, I like Trevor. I'm not mad at that wasn't either. Wasn't mad at him. I, I, I got a question about that, though, uh, Trevor Noah. And I, I don't follow him enough to know. Is that how he really looks? Yeah. Like The okay. weekend. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I just wanted to know. Like The weekend. I could well, see he used to have a... a, a like a, <laughs> <laughs> no. Like, 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 he used to have like a low cut. Yeah. Well, like I just asked tape. that because it, I found it when, when I watched the Grammys. And I found it kind of funny to me. I'm like, oh, they was going to get the weekend here regardless. Okay, you're not going to show up. We're going to bring our own weekend. And that's what it looked like to me. He got the same mustache, the same look. I'm like, from a distance, that looks like the weekend. So they're like, we're going we're gonna to get him here one way or another. <laughs> not so I, that's why distance. I asked that question. You know, was, Trevor Noah's a comedian. Yeah. So that was intentional then. Okay. No, no, no. He's, he's been growing his hair out like this he, like, yeah. since he, the quarantine. He yeah. He's a star boy. Oh, he is a star. <laughs> he been a star. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. trying to be funny because I, like I said, I don't know enough about. Every him. time you say that, something funny comes out of your mouth. <laughs> it's like when people say no disrespect. Exactly. Yeah, right. And the disrespect immediately follows. Yeah, got it. So I don't want to misplace any anger, and I'm going to leave this Grammy conversation in a couple of seconds. But let me just rep for some people right quick. As I'm watching the Doja Cat performance that she bodied, along with the video that she dropped to the meme that I didn't know where that sexy ass beat came from. All of that was great. She's been killing. Mm-hmm. Right, but she gets up there, and at the end of one of her verses, the last four bars was for me reminiscent of Nicki Minaj. You hit it right on the head, bro. Yeah, she has. A, she uh, when I she see. raps, she has some Nicki esque. She doesn't she hide it. She doesn't hide it. She says that Nicki's inspiration of her uh-huh. is one of the greatest ever. It was awesome, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when she said that, I immediately thought of Nas winning his Grammy after X amount of nominations, <laughs> and the Grammys doing the right thing. And then I thought about all the confirmation that we as artists get from the Grammys when we're nominated or deemed a winner. And Nicki Minaj popped in my head, of course. Uh Uh-huh. Because it's like, okay. Even if you play the game where you want to win the Grammy because your label spent X amount of dollars and your album did X amount of platinum, so Mm -hmm. you should win so your rates can go up if it says Grammy nominated, blah, 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 blah. 
In the event that that doesn't happen, who the fuck are y'all to say that y'all are the reason why it does? Your, your thinking is why it doesn't happen, right? Like Nas right. winning under these circumstances, all of these nominations and years later, for me as a hip-hop enthusiast, it's funny to me. Mm-hmm. It's funny. Nikki having inspired so many of the younger women that are dominating. If you ask Joe, I think women will continue to dominate for the mm-hmm. foreseeable future. Mm-hmm. I think some credence has to go into that, and you have to acknowledge that. You don't see the trend? They don't respect Queens. Mm. And when he says Queens, he means the, the borough. borough. The borough, yeah. yeah. Mm, I it. caught the... Okay. You think I've been retired? No, nah, I was confused when he said that. <laughs> but the first time, I, like when he, he said that to me in a private conversation, I was confused. That's all. Mm-hmm. Might have you, something you there. Slow. I might be. I might be the slow friend. I think I'll take that. One of the ones who boycotted a while, uh, years back too. Okay. See, if I'm not mistaken, I, I read a, there was a list of like everyone, all the hip hop acts at who at some point boycotted the Grammys, and I believe he was on there. Nicki Minaj needs her flowers. <laughs> True. Whoever, Absolutely. Whoever the Grammy board is, whoever's on there, y'all are not the ones that get to determine that Nicki Minaj and all of her impact and influence don't get to win an award. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm done with those days. Y'all are not the fucking gatekeepers, the barriers of entry. Y'all are not any of that. What she did, she did that. Mm-hmm. And now we're at a place where we have to acknowledge the, not impersonators, but the people who were inspired mm-hmm. by that act. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing like when some of these people win, I see the Drake influence there. Right. Call me a dick rider. Who knows? <laughs> but... Nikki is in that same boat. I don't think too many more years need to go by where she is not awarded for her efforts. That's how I felt watching Doja Cat and mm-hmm. some of the winners there. And, and okay. you know what really pisses me off about like kind of what you're saying there? God forbid something were to happen to Nikki. Flowers galore. Flowers mm-hmm. exactly. Flowers then galore. everyone wants to come out. Then it's lifetime achievement and it's every award, every award show is gonna give you every award imaginable. Mm-hmm. What it, nothing changed in a year. It's not mm. like like your contributions change, your music yeah. change, your impact yeah. change. Nothing's yeah. changed in that time from this award show to the next one. Uh-huh. Except you're not here to stand up there and and give your acceptance speech. That's mm. the only thing that changed. But now you get honored for everything. Mm. Her DNA was all over this award show. Right, like, it's herself. not just a all blueprint. Chicks is her yeah. Sons. Yeah. Yeah. Nicki yeah. Minaj, it's her DNA. Like, and it's funny you say that because I said the same thing. On, on my podcast, it's like, mm-hmm. yo, Nicki Minaj appreciation should be a thing because none of this even looks like this without her. Right. And I prefaced it with, I'm young. I know I'm the young guy. I didn't live through the little Kim era. I didn't live through Foxy Brown. I didn't see that. So for me, Nicki Minaj was the that, that go-to female rapper. She took what, being that you weren't, you like you said, I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Okay. They set the... The, the foundation mm-hmm. she built the fucking castle on top of the foundation she showed how to be she a pop put it star to where, right she, for, she took yeah. what she took what they wow, yeah. she, what they started mm-hmm. and made it this but she doesn't get appreciated for it so but I'm glad do. that Joe mentioned it that's what it. gets me like yeah. when you because yeah. then the second someone mentions her mm-hmm. the argument comes in oh well yeah she, she was inspired by Kim like so you're still gonna jump over her mm-hmm. you'll right. give the you'll give the flowers to the people before her and the people after her, but, mm-hmm. you, but not her. You know what's fucked up about that? Because the Grammys isn't going to say, Lil' Kim deserves the flowers, right? They're not going to say that. They're never going to mention Lil' Kim in that regard. But then they, need, they, they, they don't acknowledge her for the pop star either. And we don't really acknowledge her for that, um, what she's done in the same breath. While we at lack of, uh, lack of acknowledgement... Did the Grammys do the rest in peace television board to all the people that passed this they year? Did, they did. Yeah, they they the, the in, they did? in memoriam, yeah. whatever it's called. They yeah, did that's that. where the uh, Did anyone see Andre Harrell? He, he was there. Yeah. yeah he okay. was there for sure. Mm-hmm. Doom was there. Got it. I wish they would throw him Friday in, but I I guess I get it. He wasn't on a, on a mainstream thing. But that would have been a nice culture. Still should have been there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Still yeah, should have been, been there. Yeah, he should have been there. But they, you know, they said, Oh, we also have a list of a thousand other people on the website. You can go check that out. Which I thought was kind of funny. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Rest in peace, Freddie Godson. Absolutely. Rest in peace, um, Doom. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke, we Doom, yeah, Juice Pop World, Smoke yeah. Nipsey. Just a lot. everybody. It's, it's a lot. lot. It's a yeah. lot. It's a lot. <laughs> yeah. it's a, so maybe that's why they threw it on the website because it was so much death 
in the last year. And I'm not even just talking hip hop. Like, yeah, you got to think they're covering music. all music. Like, it was yeah. a lot. Yeah, it, it was, was a lot, lot of death last year. So I, I, I'll cut them some slack yeah. that they said, hey, go to this website and check out all the people that passed away because we're just going to put some of the notable or more known people here on, you know, while they got the show one, going. One, one thing I thought about with the Grammys too is, you know, the, the age old discussion is we got to make our own shit. We got to make our own shit. But we have some of our own shit in the the BT Hip Hop Awards, the BT uh, hey. Podcast Awards, the Soul uh, uh, Soul Train Soul Train Awards, awards. Mm-hmm. and I think that we need to just also put stock in that the same way because sometimes it feels like oh it's, well it's just a little BT award or something like that and that's not cool either. Jeez. Like we I should agree. we should put them on the same pad- pedestal as we put the Grammys on, as mm-hmm. opposed to saying oh man we got to start our own shit we got to start our own Grammys. We, can, we they kind of exist, and mm-hmm. we just don't give them enough credit, in right. my opinion. It's 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 because we're still looking for acceptance outside of our own. That's really mm. what it all boils down to. Mm. Like the BET Awards is just us. The mm. Grammys is uh, is them and us. Mm. So we want to be accepted outside of our own. Well, the BET Awards is not just us. That's well, Viacom. <laughs> you get what Which I'm is saying. true, y'all. It's never good just point. us it's anywhere. True. It's not. Yeah, it's really <laughs> not. It's really not. Very good but, point. but that's the point I had to yeah. learn as a creator. Like throughout my career, in hindsight, I'm looking at the 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 road traveled, and I'm like, all right, man. When they get to trying to rob me, or they get to trying to scam me, or they get to trying to might not uh, monetize something that they didn't participate in, my advantage is as a creator, I can go somewhere else and create something. They can't, so they won't know what to see when I create it. The downfall in that is that as a creator, anywhere that you go to create something, those people are coming. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're not going to escape them, so you better learn how to coexist or live with it. Mm-hmm. And that's the truth of the matter. Um, I know we want to talk about new music because there is new music that came out, even if I didn't hear it. But before we get to that, we were talking about Nikki. I want to stay on female rappers for a quick second this week i saw uh justin la's <laughs> justin la's justin, justin oh, yeah. laboy justin not, laboy's show <laughs> with uh sweetie with sweetie yeah, and uh and prince and puff son no, prince I saw a couple of it's justin yeah. justin i mean i'm sorry justin, justin, justin cone justin, not yeah. Prince yeah, cone. justin and justin justin justin, justin yeah, i'm sorry justin. i'm sorry i'm sorry yeah Justin, mm-hmm. Justin L.A. Boy. Okay, that group. <laughs> I'll take it. And Sweetie. Mm-hmm. Right. Is, she, is, is Sweetie all right? What is she mean? okay? Yeah. In terms of what? I would just like to check I out. mean, she looked okay like in the video. So, Every time I see her, she yeah. looks pretty it's, good. It's important that, you know. You said is she all right? In, in just in general, you know. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. new music. <laughs> new music. New, new music. music. New music. New music. Benny the Butcher. It wasn't a lot. Benny Benny and Fraud. Yeah. Benny and Fraud. That's a, a, a good fraud, start. Fraud drop every week. Yeah, not fraud. Same word. But, but, but That's he, a he, he dropping I mean, heat, Benny, though. Benny yeah, be working heat, too. so uh, I'm not mad at it. Benny the Butcher, the plugs I met to out now in your phones right now. Uh, mm-hmm. He's been work, working on this for a while, promoting this for a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did get a chance to listen to a little bit of it. Yeah, I heard the whole thing. It's Benny. Twice. I support it's it. Heat on there. What yeah. you I'm talking on it? It's, it's a lot of heat. It is heat. He's talking on it. And and this is coming from anybody who knows me. No, I do not. I'm I'm not. Team Griselda, like everybody else. Mm-hmm. Really? You know, I have my own stance when it comes to them. You so. can't sit in the ice seat and say that, man. You mean more? Expand. I mean, that's, that's, ice. That's yeah, you can't ice sit in more. I'm just saying. You can't sit in more. You can't sit in more. I mean, there's ice right there, but I mean, he said ice is seat. I'm talking that's, 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 that's more, you know, that's the monster. Say, well, that's that's trying to be funny. I'm just saying. Yeah, he's trying to be funny. He's trying to be funny. Why not, though? Um, I, I, I do think Benny and Conway can rap. I also say that I've heard and too guns. much of the exact same thing from them for too long. So the, it's the production. You're waiting it's, it's for everything. change. It's everything. So you, you've, what you've given just, me this before. But what if that's just their sound and that's right. where we're at with it? And that's fine. Okay. It's not for me. It's then. not for you. Okay. And which is why I don't listen, you know. Because you, you want to see them do I trap. Put, no, nah, I don't want to see them do trap. Like right. I, I said earlier today. Oh, you like a pop type dude, right? Nah. I said earlier today. <laughs> they I'd have pay, killed I, some trap joints, though. I'd mm-hmm. pay proud to pay proud to pay prices, mm-hmm. which was you know Nipsey's uh, thing, mm-hmm. to hear Benny over Heat Makers, a whole project. I'd like mm-hmm. that. Shut up. I would. <laughs> Joe, why you why you mad at that? That's yeah, real shit, though. I'm Shut not. Up. I'm not what? mad at that, though. 
Why? What's the problem with that? I don't I'm like the same that. sound that I hear. I don't like Derringer beats. I don't like hearing them over Alchemist beats. I don't like Freddie Gibbs over Alchemist beats. I don't like Royce over these beats. Like I don't wait, 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 I don't like those. I don't like those. I don't like that. That sound. Ice. That uh, sound to me, and I, me and Parks, we've had this talk yeah. in the past. Yeah. That sound to me, I jokingly call it the boom bap. Uh -huh. It's a joke. I know it's not the traditional boom bap sound. <laughs> this is more boom bap in a way. It I, is. I know. Yeah. It is. I know. Yeah. The sound to me is that late 90s gritty New York era sound. Okay. I don't like that. I don't want it. I'm not a fan of premier production, for example. You know. You have to get out. That's, that's I, I you you, you can't. You can't at Wiz Mall. Blast. I'm cool with that. <laughs> can you call Mall? I don't call Mall. But, but I'm just saying, like, so that, that was on. my that was my knock against them. Mm. It worked for them. So yeah. by all means. Right. You know, look at Gibbs and Alchemist got nominated for a Grammy. So mm. I'm not saying that it's whack. Right. It's not for me. I want I was a Gibbs fan when he was rapping over the trap beats. Do you like him over Madlib? No. Okay. No. So I he like really just doesn't like that sound. Yeah, I don't like that sound. You that's don't like what, the sound. I don't so like it's the not sound. Benny. No, it's, it's not the Benny. sound. I've heard. I have. A, I have a project in my phone that I put together called uh, Benny the Butcher Guest Appearances, and it's every feature that he's ever done, mm. outside of the Griselda in house. It. And Got he's killed it. Like this shit is fire. Mm. So you want I, you I like want to hear Benny to like different you want to hear him over like Muster. How. Hell no. Hell no. I don't do that to Mustard because Mustard got a bag. Like him over front but I don't want to hear him this on that bag. Mustard has a bag. That's oh, not man. just, you know, the pop. Well, new the Mustard run. because yeah. old, You want to hear old. Biebs over Mustard, right? I'll take that. <laughs> Harmonizing? I'll take it. This fucking guy over But nah, it's, it's funny that you mentioned a uh, production thing That's because I, I thought the same thing too. His last project that he did with Hit Boy, yeah. that's still in my rotation. Mm. Like, I think Hit Boy kind of set himself apart when I listened to this. Because I don't get the same feeling, and there's no disrespect and no slight to Harry Fraud, but I don't get that same feeling from the project that he did with Hit Boy. Like, this song, uh, Plug Talk, featuring 2 Change for, for me, mm. it sounded like he was chasing that sound that Ice is talking about. Like, he was trying to stay current, he was trying to stay in that flow, that cadence. And for me, I was like, yo, I gotta go back to Burden of Proof. Can I reply to that? For sure. You know he has a Drake record in his pocket, if he was trying to stay relevant and... <laughs> And mainstream. I heard it. I know, but it's not on here. So what do you think of that? If he, if that were his goal, mm -hmm. it would why it. wouldn't he try to drop that? I'm pretty sure that he could go ahead and get any type of trap producer to do an album with him. And I think that's See, also that's the other Drake, thing I'm too. Tired of I think too. Drake also is like, hey, when it's time, then let's go there. I, I don't think that's just a Benny decision to say, hey, I'm going to drop the Drake yeah. record. Yeah. So maybe he wanted to put it on 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 the last mm -hmm. project or on his. Well, he project. said he. I saw something he said a couple days ago where he said he can't wait to get that record. out. Yeah, that's what. Like, and he said I, that so when that, he was so here. Obviously, that means I want this record to come out, but for other you, reasons I can't. It means get out you have to wait on a plan, right? And a team to Probably work around right. that record because so it's a Drake record, so you know it's too big. You're not gonna put this on the plugs I met too. I would assume. Nah. Yeah, put this on, put that on the album. On your, your what an industry? I mean, on a label album or something? Yeah, know? maybe. Yeah, something yeah. somewhere there's yeah. a, uh, okay, hundred percent. Okay, a, a bigger marketing plan and, and shit. Mm -hmm. And honestly, the other thing I'm 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 per I'm only speaking for me. Mm -hmm. I'm getting tired of the rapper one producer albums. Really? I like to hear, mix it up. Show oh. me some versatility. Okay. And that that's again that's the thing about these guys. It's the same thing over and over. I've heard your story. I've heard you. Like, you can rap. Uh -huh. I'm not taking Did that from you. Did you Conway's last album? How? Did Conway's last album? That was... Uh, the, uh, from a King to from a King to, From a King to a So it wasn't one after that? Something's burning no, that or something like that? No, there was like a deluxe or something. No, like that. Oh, oh okay. yeah, there was There was another one after that he did with Big Ghost. Come on, you're supposed like, to know this. Yeah, oh, with Big Ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, did you listen to that album? Because that one had a bunch of different producers. It had Hit Boy. I think Fraud might have been on there. There was... I listen to it. I don't. I like. I listen to it. I don't. Remember. There's nothing okay. that stood out that makes me go back to that album. Okay. Like. Yeah. Fair. Is there any more new music to drop? Uh, just to be right. outside dead. of Beeps. Real relaxed. No, I was just like, Why you know? Yeah, yeah, but I was just like, you know, it's a music. I thought you was a music Beaver? podcast. Uh, no, that's cool. all. We talking about music. Harmonizing that's all over that. Who else? Who else besides the Beeps? Guap Dad. Yeah. Guap Dad drop. Okay. I didn't get to listen to it yet. Yeah, I didn't. I won't hear that. D Nice and Neo. They dropped a little something. Your boy. That's my guy. Your hero. It's a good song. D yeah. Nice and Neo dropped a song. And uh, Ken, Ken Jones. Jones. Yeah. Mm. I think it was I love for me. Ken Jones. It yeah. was like Is a, it an R&B record? 
You know, it, it, that, it's that like vibe. a summertime feel. It's a summertime feel. It was nice to see uh, D Nice because over the pandemic, for somebody in my demographic, my age, I wasn't too or as familiar with D Nice and his work. And I don't care if I sound ignorant for saying it. It's, it's when I was born. No, so to know. go back, yeah, you know. like when I clicked on the record, and like Park said, that's my guy. Um, when I saw Neo on that shit, and and I clicked the record, it showed all of his old work. Right. Mm. And then for me, because it like the nigga had hair. <laughs> I didn't know. I don't know like, D Nice. So when I seen the artwork and he had the, he had the hot top, it was nineteen ninety. I'm like, oh shit, let me go back. And Joe, you don't gotta make that face. I know I'm young. I understand that I I'm young that and I'm dumb. You, Whatever you want to put get, on get me, your shit cool. Off. Get your shit off. I'll take that. But it was nice to um, go in just the rabbit hole of, of D Nice for me and and other people who probably you know wasn't as familiar. So yeah. So I'm Look at you getting educated yeah, on you the culture. Your homework. I, hey, I respect you. Yeah. Hey, you wasn't there for it, so you Don't go back. That. And, that that is the cool thing about streaming. That's the cool thing about streaming. For for young yeah. kids, you can just go get it. Like, exactly. As opposed to yeah. when we were kids, yeah. like finding Don't old shit, we had to go spend a hundred yeah. 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 on old because CDs. I get tight with the new kids for not tapping in and doing that. Because I'm the young kid that I I probably take an album each week that's from like the '90s, the '80s, the '70s, and I go tap in because we can. Right. I find it right. so dumb for them not to tap in because, like, y'all had to go to fucking record stores. Right. Bro, we was and really buying shit. You guys yeah. like, spent a lot of money on shit Yo, you might not like. Bro, we don't have That's what I'm saying. Shit is on our phone. Something, bro. <laughs> no Limit Records was dropping an album every two weeks for two years straight. That's I insane. bought every last one of them. Mm. Shit that I don't even, I can't tell you one song off of today. I was <laughs> going to the store, right. mm-hmm. spending $16, $17 mm-hmm. per CD yeah. mm-hmm. every two mm-hmm. weeks. Yes. Like That's yeah, different. you it was a commitment back then. Like yo, you was going. To, shit, the towers fell, and, and, and really we was in this. I was in. Uh, the, I found out the towers fell because I was buying Fab's debut album and Blueprint. So what y'all what y'all did when it sold out? When shit sold out, what y'all do? You have to be at that store at nine in the morning. <laughs> That's what you do. We used to like pre order. You had yeah, to you go pre you order. You, you get, get a, a mom slip. and pop. Yeah, I'm getting bro. a call, you guys. That we have to. Hello. Yo. Oh, it's part two. Hello. <laughs> yo, you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, we got to do that the right way, bro. I thought I was just, it was just us, bro. Try to get me caught up. Throw the cameras Steve. back, nigga. You got to change your heart. <laughs> nigga, Joe is crazy. He sold it Joe that quick. Joe, Joe crazy. You Joe can't do that. Work. Joe didn't say nothing. <laughs> Joe didn't say nothing. All right, this is Justin LeBoy calling me, right? And we are yes, live sir. on the air. Mm-hmm. How are you yeah. doing? <laughs> I'm doing phenomenal, marvelous, <laughs> splendid. Yeah. Okay. We did a call earlier where you were telling me about your revolt show, but right. let's do it again. Let's do it again. Yes, I didn't know. I thought you were calling me. You know how you usually do when we just talk crazy. Yeah, no. I didn't know it was being recorded he or really used. To. And that's the thing so. about you newbies in business. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I thought you know you got can't. It. We we went from friend to to, to interview too quick. Yeah, I wasn't, I yeah, wasn't they, you got you got to be careful. You got to be careful. So listen, so you have a new show. Your first right. guest was Chris Brown. Your and second, Kevin Durant, and and KD. Talk so to like, him. Mm, Talk to you, him for you, Joe. Nobody uh, came out the gate like that before. Huh? But that's another story. Now you got Sweetie up there looking beautiful, right? As always, amazing. Man, she looks better in person. Oh though. my god, I believe oh. it. She was she she was glowing. Oh, oh. it well, was hard to make eye contact it. with her during the show, Joe. Extra glow. When the extra yeah, listen, man, man, and and the blogs are picking up these stories everywhere. And what I'm saying is this to you, uh, right? I don't. I don't have a significant other that I would let go do an interview at a mansion with her ex and you. I would, but why I would, me? I'm innocent here. Because you was there. You, you was there. None of mine ex. can go sit with their ex and Justin LeBoy. <laughs> what if it was just Justin LeBoy, though? Nah. Eh. My bitches can't sit with you. Sorry, wow. buddy. I, I, yo, at yo, least you honest. I was watching your show, and and before you asked the question, you was like, "Yo, let me pull up my sleeve," but you only pulled up one sleeve. <laughs> so I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> yo, miraculously, it was the sleeve with like a iced out Roly and all this other shit on it. The <laughs> other sleeve just stayed down. I was like, "Man, I can't fuck with niggas like this, man." <laughs> Nobody said nothing when you had the chain down to your belly button 20 years ago. <laughs> you have to excuse me now. It's my moment. Yo, you getting your shit off out there? 
You said what happened? You get your shit off out there? What you? I'm trying. So, so this, this is all I'm saying. Now we have rumors of Sweetie and Quavo breaking up and unfollowing each other. I don't know if those things are true. I don't speak to either one of them. But it seems to be coming off the back. I thought of- I thought I thought you knew Quavo. You had a little friendship, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> that is my man's. That's my guy's. Okay. We kissed, we made up, pause. Um <laughs> But how do you feel about this breakup coming on the heels of your show? Like, do you feel like you and her <laughs> and her ex might have had anything to do with that? Um, nah. Honestly, I didn't that wasn't my intent when she came on the show. You know, if you if you know anything about my brand. You know it's toxic. You know we turn up. You know before this I had demon time, so you know that's the mm-hmm. bag I'm in. Mm-hmm. So you know when she came on the show, she knew what she was uh, getting herself into. So oh, okay. you know it was it was it was a vibe. It was supposed to be fun. It was never supposed to be all this breakup rumors and all that. So you know for that to happen, hopefully they get back together. They was a dope couple for real, but um, you know. This nigga went and found some media. I know a lot of I know a lot of I know, I know a lot of people ain't that mad crazy. that she's single right yeah. now though. Niggas is gonna start shooting her shot. She's Just, the biggest Justin, free agent. We right never now. knew we never knew she was single, Justin. <laughs> Man. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> we don't. We don't. Told us, Joe. She's the shade room told us. I think she's gonna get a max deal in free agency. <laughs> the, the, the shade room told us, Joe. Super max. <laughs> a max free agency deal. I mean, you're not getting me in trouble. I pieced it up with them niggas. I'm not doing this with you. Yo, is, there any, is, there any, is there anything you could tell us about your show moving forward that the viewing public does not know? Give it to me. Um, well, we got a lot of special guests coming up. I think it gets even more toxic. You know, Sweetie you. was just the start. And I think my next guest is really, really like the king of toxic and then demon time. He might be the worst nigga alive right now besides me. Future? And then yeah, after future. that, we got, you know. <laughs> they got to be future. Gotta be future. There's, a, there's a group of females who I think are, you know. Women, the not females. Women the most toxic women in the game so you know the next two three episodes man make sure y'all tune in respectfully justin's show the biggest show in the world besides all right, the good right, buddy right, podcast. Right, right. <laughs> listen i'm supporting this show even though y'all took my state of the culture budget <laughs> <laughs> no don't do that joe yo you i'm, just, I'm still you just sharing a couple dollars no, I'm still supporting, man. I ain't Puff ain't invited me to none of the houses since. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Malibu, I see Malibu, Miami. I'm watching Stop niggas. It. You I me seen th- you New Year's Eve yeah. with your legs crossed yeah, on no, Star no, Island. Yeah, look at <laughs> sexy. <I'm> looking sexy. <laughs> look at me looking sexy. I had the turtleneck on 82 degrees right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I want to be on the show, y'all. Be in New York next week, man. So, if you filming any we're from Tuesday to Thursday, please, man. I want to come on and talk my shit with you. Oh, listen, man. you more than welcome to join me if you get a free minute away from Meek Mill and the rest of the guys. You can oh, come, you can come, here you he can go. Play. You have to get that shit on. <laughs> I knew you wanted to get that on, bro. You got it, man. Yeah, what Meek doing right now? <laughs> Meek somewhere on a bike popping wheelies around Atlanta or something. Yeah, let me stop because niggas don't even know if that me and you joke around like this. That's man. what I'm saying. That's yeah. not the first time you call me, Joe. I'm like, what the? I'm a deer in headlights. Yo, <laughs> any uh, of the other conversations ever came up, man, I'm out of here. Oh, wait. Actually, just I'm glad you're on the phone because there's a lot of situations in the last few months where, like, my character is coming, like, in the question. It's making me sad out there. Like, like, can you tell people about how much of a uh, inspiration I was to you? <laughs> nah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, hey, yo, listen, just Joe, <laughs> whatever the world ever had to say, I defend you because, like, throughout this whole journey, Joe's on the phone with me, listening to me slander everyone on earth. And he was a mental health coach for me. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, uh, mental yeah. health coach for me. Yeah. And, uh, Joe Don't was never, and listen, but I'm gonna keep it real. Joe he was never a hater. He's sharing lawyer information, all types of <laughs> all that, all that. All that. I really appreciate you, Joe. I didn't Thanks. get the bag that uh, you got, but shit, I'm, I'm, I'm on nah, my yes way. You did. Yes, yes, nah. you did. I know, Damn, I know who's that talking, Joe? Like. I know what that set looked like over there. It looked good. <laughs> all right, listen, man. Listen, when you come up here, hit me. Hit me. Let me let's nah. get together. I bet I'll get there Monday. I'm gonna hit you. All right, bet. All right, bro. One. <laughs> 
Yo, Joe, I'm you a little been... jealous, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, man. Cool. Like, he made Justin, Justin better than you. Like thought, Justin thought, Leboy is like that's that's. What did you say now? Nah, I thought like you know hearing him, you you giving him like you know the codes to life and shit, the blueprint, and you know I've been here for quite a while now. That's crazy, sir. And he Damn, give yeah, you yeah, the that's blueprint. Wild. That and, is wild. That's crazy. And I like you know the blueprint. Nice. Like yeah. I'm kind of just taking it on my own part. You we know only call mean? you like, for work. I'm just a fly on the wall. Mm. Damn. You know, like mm. the fact mm. that mm. he's getting like the real cheat codes. Like, right. Share it. Boy, them out, and I'm like, and they be confused bro. why you don't I'm got the kid, bro. Like right, I just told you, me and you shared a moment when the dog definitely had the moment. You know, when your your tears was on your cheek, I had the tissue right in the pocket. Yeah, but that's just the thing. He dried your tears and you didn't give him the keys. I was going to die whether you was there or not. Like, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's, Yo, the, that's, that's the thing about life. Sometimes, Joe is a sick sometimes people <laughs> overstate their value in the situation. <laughs> hey, the dog's dying, nigga. You ain't do CPR. <laughs> like, that's what it is. I'll, I'll Justin, never... Justin LeBoy uh-huh. got 2.6 million followers on Instagram. Mm-hmm. He's like, doing his thing. What you got? But he ain't wiping your tears, though. <laughs> what you got? I mean, he ain't wiping your tears. All right, but, but that's all I'm saying. But how many followers you got? 2.600. I, I, I don't got... I, I got <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I ain't got 2.6. The budget didn't get approved. <laughs> damn, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> damn. That's I don't know if they know how that goes. I just thought your tears was more valuable than, you know what I mean? My tears. Mm. The flowers, that's catch all. catch my tears. <laughs> Fuck out of here. You do cry a lot, so I guess I shouldn't have put that much stock into your tears. Here's a question for you. Mm-hmm. Actually, here's a question for everybody. Let's do it. And again, we missed the, uh, missed the pod last week, so there some things that I, I missed and didn't talk about. And some of this stuff is not important at all. But the sweetie topic came up when it was like, would you let your ex go to, or would you let your girl go to her ex house for an interview? I asked Justin. Cool. Uh, but the Salt Bay shit with Shorty, where dude went to go have a little meal. <laughs> um, salt Bay just put the knife in the steak, fed mm. her with it. Mm. She had her tongue all out, licking the meat. <laughs> like, she, she was That's all, crazy. The meat was, it was looking savory too. <laughs> She enjoyed that too much. Oh my uh, god! Put, well, that's what I'm asking. That's what I'm asking. She could have just ate the meat, man. Yeah. I don't. I picked it off with her finger. Or yeah, something yeah. Like she yeah. You know, that's she, not what she, you go to the Salt Bay for. You don't go to Salt Bay to pick the steak off the fork. With look at that. Look, look. Her tongue touched her chin, Ooh. fam. Nah, but nah, did you nah, see her? Good. Like she got like a, her Instagram page. Did y'all find that? Well, no, I, I know you I didn't did. Look for it. <laughs> oh, that was just crazy. I know you no. did. No, 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 I don't, see, I'm no, no, no. hold on. Fam. All right, let me try to paint. Let me try to paint this the scenario a bit differently for sure, you guys. Then, sure, yeah. um, there's an event to celebrate between you and your partner. Mm. Okay, mm. you guys are going somewhere that you don't typically go for date night. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a special occasion. Mm. Okay, you end up at Salt Bay's restaurant where the menu and the prices are a bit more expensive than the typical anniversary of Valentine's Day. Right. This is a thing of a jiggy here. You're paying <laughs> you're paying <laughs> this see this face. Look at face. 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 I'm listening. You are paying for the experience uh-huh. here. Yeah. Salt bait, night of the salt, the sprinkly <laughs> shit, blah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> right, right. You know, elbow your, shit. Your, All right. your girl may be more excited to be here than you are. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. She wants this experience. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. You as her dude, you're going to step on that, suppress that, or try to ruin the experience because of your own feelings about her eating steak off some dude's knife? No. Nah. Well, well, the, 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 I don't even like call it. We can go stuff, around. You the, can give the, it to the, me. The Salt Bay Perfect experience. Perfect marriage, man. Nah, not even. The, the, the Salt <laughs> Bay experience is the elbow, all the bullshit, all that. Yeah. Right? It ain't got nothing to do with you taking the steak and, and seductively feeding it to her. She... You know, Salt Bay expanded out. his brand, Ice. Now, you want to say what the Salt Bay experience is to your girl. <laughs> ah. Got it. Yeah. Got it. You want to you you control yeah. women. So what if you were at a strip club and she you know, didn't feel how the uh, dancers may be giving you attention in a certain way? Well, I'm not going in a strip club with my girl. Nah. It's fun. Oh, so you don't do nothing fun with your girl? <laughs> yeah, I'm just. That's nah, they not watch fun movies. Uh, they watch oh, Justice yeah, League. Nah, 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 that's nah, Justice yeah, League. Nah. Justice League just came out. Popcorn. They watch Justice yeah. League the four yeah. hour yeah. cut. Like, yeah. they do yeah. things. We go, walk, we go, they do we go, go out, walk the baby together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nah, I, I, I see you, Ice. I see yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Coming to America 2 is crazy. Word. It was. Fucking God. It wasn't. 
All right, that's all I, I had think, on Sunday. No, no, I don't. It, it wasn't a real thing. I get it. I get it. I'm all just I'm asking. saying is, I get it. When I see this, like, dude, face. <laughs> Me and her gonna talk about that in the car. Like, you know yo, saying? you could have took that. Like, he definitely just... talked to her. You know I know he did. Yeah, the... and he was tight the rest of the night. Too. Yeah, the look at the face was he, like he, he might ask for the check. Yeah. Right then and there, yo, let's go. You, mean, you ain't got to smile while you take it. You know what I'm saying? Bro? Yeah, for bro, me, look at her tongue, <laughs> son. Look it, at her tongue. It's how you receive it. It's like she could have snatched it off the knife like a Rottweiler, and nobody would have felt like it was hey, an issue. Yo, yo, what's up, a dude? <laughs> she didn't Man, have to tongue. like no, it women. Was women, and women are not sensual. Rottweilers. <laughs> nah, we'll it's like. an act. It's an act. She could have done that. Whatever, like not animal, but whatever action. But she, but, she but, be, but is in the clear. Hey, Justin Bieber is in the clear whatever, though, right? Whatever. She can be a Rottweiler, but Biebs can harmonize nigger and. It's okay. Assertiveness, Joe. Uh, you gotta be assertive. assertiveness. Right, she yeah. wanted to take uh, the she steak off take of that the knife. Like that. Yeah, so like that was on her. That's not on Salt Bay. Like I, I, I can't leave that establishment she mad at Salt Bay. I'm not because mad at he, him. Because he's trying to do it. Uh, he, he, I saw in a, uh, a the clip NFL players. with Amari Cooper. Yeah, he do the like, same. That's his shit. Amari Cooper, I, I don't look at him like he's he's soft. You know, anybody that play in the NFL, like they kind of come with a credit where it's like, all right, but they you, hardcore. Um, anybody yeah. playing in NFL, not just right? anybody, it's not soft. What about right? punters? They hard. Nah, the punters too. Uh, okay. Pat McAfee, mm. he 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 looked like he, you know, what I mean, he, <laughs> got a, he got a favorite punter. <laughs> 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 nah, I mean, yeah. 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 we're not doing that. We're not doing that. He, he might be the one. He might be the one. We're not doing it. 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 we He's trying to put the meat in your mouth, no matter if you're a, a guy or a girl. <laughs> Let me move on, man. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, hey, don't worry, man. Let's keep uh, this thing moving that's right along. Uh, oh, Rich man. the Kid busted at LAX with a weapon. Somebody in here tell me how this keeps happening. <laughs> I, 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 bro. I got nothing, bro. That's nah, pretty easy. You, maybe, you know, you, you were doing certain drugs, marijuana, and then you get to the airport now, it's a quick flight, and you forget you keep something concealed on, on your bag when you're carrying on. Why are you playing with a marijuana? Yo, that's so. Uh, no, no, whatever you, you just no, said. No, yeah. Let me help you. You sound nuts. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> but see, it's nuts, but that happens. I've been like with people where they do, had do, some do things. Do you know the New York gun laws? No, nah, this is LAX. Oh, that was LAX. Do LAX. you know airport laws? Yeah, no, yeah, no. I'm not saying <laughs> it has to do with the law. I'm saying like I'm just when saying, you're. But like, to know like, that. I know, no, I know, but I'm saying, like, imagine rushing your, like, having a rush flight. Like, your flight, your flight is soon. You don't remember what you have concealed. Well, listen, that's kind of what my thing is, yeah, and that's, yeah. that's how I get to my point, because yeah. I put myself in a situation, and I imagine. So let's go through it. Mm -hmm. When I have a really early morning flight, whatever is happening the night before, I feel like it's distracting me, and I'm forgetting something, so I'm paranoid. So I spend the entire night before figuring out what I'm forgetting mm -hmm. for the morning flight. It was the nine. Let's pretend. <laughs> I need this. Damn, I forgot that again. <laughs> Damn. Yo. Back to self defense. You never know. Well, you never it was know. denied. <laughs> you never know. Oh, shit. Damn, I forgot something. Oh, yeah. You never know. I knew I had to kill one of these dudes <laughs> when I landed. The baby? <laughs> what, what if they don't have my money? <laughs> Wait, all right. So I'm thinking about what I uh, uh, may be forgetting. Sure. Uh, I imagine if I smoke a blunt in that or get drunk in that, it'll right. be real bad that night or the morning, and I won't have the wherewithal to pack this bag correctly mm -hmm. or check it correctly, because mm -hmm. I imagine that that's what's happening. People are forgetting that they're packing in the gun bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, this is the gun bag. When I'm yeah, in my car, like a backpack. Yeah. The Louis. You should have an airport bag. Yeah. And, and the gun, a gun, gun bag. travel bag. Yeah. That's a good point. This is the guns and that's drugs good. bag, but legally. Oh, of course. Like, the legally. Shut what up. Yo, shut up. What? <laughs> this shut the fuck up. Yo, Alan. But that's the hey, thing to say, to say, say, bro. Come, come back here. Yeah, get but, your but, bag, But you bro. can't tell me to shut the fuck up because clearly yeah. he didn't have that distinction. Oh, I will brother. say this. Yo, brother. <laughs> Wait, let me hear from you, Why can't nice we show. tell you to shut the fuck up? Because I'm being mean. Because Did you sign your NDA? This is, not, <laughs> this is not the first rapper, entertainer, whoever to walk through a major airport with mm -hmm. a firearm. So that so should be... 
us. Okay, you have to. Ju- you just have to say it. Mm. I'm missing. That's something. all I'm saying. Like no. we we've traveled together. We have security. You security make nine? sure. I've never. No, I don't okay. keep. Wait, that wait. Let me, let me let me hear him out. Give, give them. No, a- we 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 have security, and security goes through the protocol to make sure that this shit is done the right way. There's mm. a certain bag. There's a certain security that you got to go through. Mm. Swallow has never saying. checked my bag. For Hold the up nine. for a minute, boy. This your man, right? Yeah. <laughs> This is so. why this is why your man pisses me off. What he doing? He's so you good. know those things. That's what I'm saying. So I'm, that's what I'm, I'm saying. not rich the kid. So so when right. you double back to the, the Denver kid. club with no security, <laughs> no gun, no knife, I a, need that, that away man. from your crew mm-hmm. and people that love you, you do know these things. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Is this? Sometimes you gotta live on the edge. It's different. Yeah. It's different. It's a little yeah. different. I, I just but I will say you said different though. Like these these rappers live really fast compared to maybe you and me, Joe. Like, they're doing things at a time that they probably can't keep up with, which makes like, them do dumb like shit. Like the gun. But, yeah, yeah. All right, well, check this out. Mm-hmm. Here's my response to that. Mm-hmm. If you can't shit. keep up with where the gun was placed, you shouldn't be the one with the gun. <laughs> should, should you have a gun? <laughs> that's what I'm, like, that's the part I'm not getting. What if you have to determine if you have to shoot somebody? Right. Right. Oh, shit, I do have the gun. Oh, don't move. Don't move. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but yeah. you know the crazy shit? Like, yeah. y'all started the whole episode with the baby. Uh-huh. He knew where the gun was. You know he good for that, Joe. He was the artist, uh-huh. and if he uh-huh. didn't have that on him, what? He, it's a debate oh, if he's brother. alive. Right? Oh, okay, okay. So okay, the okay, artist okay, got okay, it on okay, him. No, 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 no. Hold on. Yeah, it, the artist has it on him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't knock Rich the kid for having it on him. So why didn't the baby? Why didn't anything happen to the baby? What you mean? Why didn't? Because he had the gun on him. The same was it a way that was it, was, it, was, it legal, was it a legal gun or something? Was it like why didn't I don't know he the have specifics. any problems? I'm not gonna get into specifics. Okay, I'm but, talking about a rapper, an entertainer, a nigga with money having a, a firearm on him. Okay, well, same thing as the Rich the Kid and the baby. Yeah, he wasn't. He, he, he wasn't. No, he was popping in the city. Okay, which is why niggas ran up on him because he was popping where he was in his area. Okay, that's my point. What's their gun loss? What is that? What I'm trying to say to you though. That's not the same thing as having a gun in an airport. Yeah, like you know, gotta, you, yeah. You, what are you, you talking have, about? You have to know. He where went to you, TSA, right? <laughs> and I and I started right showed that. his ID, took his hat off, <laughs> ass down, yo, he did all yo, this shit. Right. Nah, I'm risk the kid. <laughs> <laughs> and Even, then put the bag through the thing with a gun in it. But I think that that's a lack and that's a failure on his team. Like oh, as thank an artist, you for such a, as a, I'm you, just saying. You like, don't say. That's, 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 that's what we've been saying. Really? That's, 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 that's what we've been saying. Nah, they shouldn't have did that. But y'all, right. didn't say that. y'all didn't say that. Y'all, y'all, y'all putting it on him. I mean, say, well, we're part of Joe's team. Do we ever go through his bag to what make sure he got the nine on him? But that's on him. Don't be a rapper if you're not gonna if you're not planning to have a team. Like I met Joe and his refined from what y'all tell me his You put it on his team to, that they didn't find the gun in the bag. No, that they didn't know that the artist, the pro, the, the 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 investment, the asset All right, so let me had ask, a gun on Okay, him. so let me yes, ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Team. Let me ask you one question. You no, said you was Joe's driver for a while, right? Mm-hmm. Did you know every time that Joe got in the car with you with the bag, whether or not there was a gun in that bag? Absolutely not. No, so, I, so, I don't so, know. So what how is that bag. on his team if you didn't know if Joe had one or Even not. Even if I didn't and know, every time driver. I've been to an airport, any- <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't my driver. He did. He, he might have done his solid. I, I did his mad solid. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that to me. The niggas is crazy <laughs> out here. <laughs> I mean, like, what did your contract nah, say? Says, like, I drove you a few times. <laughs> right, you put a few miles on my car. But no, um, <laughs> if, 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 if I don't know what's in Joe's bag, there's somebody on the team that I expect to know What's going on? But if with it's Joe? a tool, y'all in the car. And just, oh, in the car? Right. Well, in the car, then no. It, 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 that's a whole different situation. But this is an airport. In the car, I don't So if you was dropping Joe mind. off at the airport, if you was dropping Joe, yo, yo, Savon, drop me off at the airport real quick. I'll be a, I'll be a thousand percent honest. Any you say, yo, Joe, I've you got it on you? To yo, yo, uh, open your bag real quick first yeah. so you get in this car. Yeah. Let me hear what he's saying. What are you saying? Anytime that I've been to an airport with Joe, it's been us traveling together to a destination. You think Cube says, yo, you got it on you? No, but I think Keeb no or No one has ever asked me, yo, do you have a gun no, on you? No, <laughs> yo, yo, you got it on you? They asked me, yo, you got your ID? Hey, hey, no. Uh-huh. Com- common sense. Did you forget your phone? Common sense. But you got to you know. You can't go through the airport with, with a gun. fucking gun. Absolutely. Right. But, common sense. But we're then, talking then what, what about 40-year-old Joe. Rich the Kid is is probably close, close to my age. Like, Same we on, hear I've stories all the time. Caught, but that's you. You're not, you not a guy who's going to walk around with a gun, so Joe. We're not, so we're not but that's you. About, but wait, so we're not talking about 40-year-old Joe. <laughs> 
We're talking about Joe at any point in his life was never doing but that. But that's, if, if I, bro, if you was 20 years old and I was still in the same role that I'm in now and, and we traveled together or worked together, whatever, closely, I would know if you kept a gun on you. Have you Just by being around you. Have you I, successfully? You don't have to tell me that you have a gun on you. Just what by does that knowing. have to do with me bringing it to the airport? Because there's a team, there's an infrastructure is what I'm saying. He's clearly lacking that. At 20 years old. So it's not. Like, I've been around people who keep yo, that hold on up, them. Hold up, hold up. There's a, there's, how old are you again? I'm 27. There's such a disconnect going on with, like, accountability uh-huh. right. and what we're responsible for. Yeah. What, you, what you're saying mm-hmm. is that his team is responsible for him having a gun in his bag and going through TSA. Yeah. And I'm going to strongly disagree uh, with I disagree. That. When he goes to sleep at night after mm-hmm. they arrest him, he should say, this is where I messed up. Not, yeah. damn, why my team ain't hit me and ask me, Was there a gun how did they let me know, go through, blah, blah, blah. In the but picture, and, hey, wait, in the picture, hey, wait, slow down, not for him. In the pictures I saw, it wasn't even a team in place with him. When they locked him up and escorted him to a car, there was nobody standing on the side to say, yo, Look. what's going on? Look, it's just, it's only him. No, at this point, Savon, you cannot put this on your team. You are responsible for how you travel and what travels with you. For Correct. Sure. This looks a mess, but I want to highlight it because it's pretty common. People are doing this. People yeah. are forgetting the first that their gun bag is their one day, two day travel bag. Right. Like, I'm not trying to harp on him. I understand how the mistake is being made. You're not the first person to make it. Mm-hmm. Have you ever mistakenly been in that position with something else? Like you, you, you snuck on someone with your into no. your carry on, and you land, and you like, oh shit! The closest that I've gotten to that, Alex, is uh, checking a bag, getting a TSA, and realizing that something is in my pocket that shouldn't be in my pocket. And in that instance, I can throw it away. Mm. Uh, if there's a drink in there that shouldn't be in there, uh, you can throw away. The maybe nine. I got too many lighters on me. Right. Like right, I right. feel like a crackhead if I got nine lighters in my pocket. <laughs> I don't need these as I travel. Right. Like shit like that. Uh, even if you want to talk about paraphernalia, now if you go through TSA with some of that, sometimes they give you a pass. If you go through, they'll let you throw it away. Like mm-hmm. the, TSA is, you got to remember what everyone's job is. Mm-hmm. They're not there to spend however many hours doing paperwork on the things that you thought you could get through. Right. But right, if you have right. a weapon, yeah, right, that's different. But that's somebody's job. It's to not. Know. It's not you. It's, it's risk no, it's job. No, no, it's no, 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 He's the leader. He's the reason that this whole shit goes. The reason that we're in airports flying from city to city. Okay. Because uh, Joe is and that be- guy. And before you get to what you can do to help Joe mm-hmm. in any airport situation, mm-hmm. how Joe helps the team is by, by knowing not- that Joe mm-hmm. cannot bring a loaded or unloaded weapon through TSA at an airport. Now we're not dealing with state laws. Mm-hmm. We're dealing with federal, federal laws. Absolutely. Those are questions that I asked when weed was legalized in New Jersey. Mm-hmm. I asked, hey, does that mean that you can travel through an airport with mm-hmm. marijuana on you because it's legal here? Right. What if you're landing somewhere where it's, it's not, legal or, 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 yeah, not legal. Yeah, or not legal? What right. happens? Uh-huh. And people will tell you, Same well, but it's a federal course. that becomes federal. Mm-hmm. And we, you got to deal with that. Mm-hmm. And I also want to preface this by saying you keep saying when we've traveled with Joe on business, mm-hmm. we don't know if this is business or personal. Joe flies other places personal mm-hmm. That's a by fact. himself. That's a fact. He is responsible mm-hmm. for how he travels when mm-hmm. he travels by mm-hmm. himself. Sure enough. Yep. We don't know if this is business or personal. We, we just don't only mm-hmm. see him. Mm-hmm. And he made a decision. To do something. Or made a mistake. And or made a mistake. Yeah. Forgot. Mm-hmm. That is not on anybody yeah. but him. Right. Sorry. Well, in that context, then you're completely right. You're completely right. 1,000%. Because I don't expect everybody to know what uh, what moving parts is going on when people travel. When stars, rappers, whoever the main focus is travel. I don't expect everybody to know everything. 
But I do expect for at least one person in your corner to have the wherewithal to say, yo, fam, no. Even if I don't know, if if Alex is, if I know Alex keeps something on him that he shouldn't keep on him, and he's like, yo, I'm taking a trip, I'm going to see Shorty, or whatever he's going to do, I'm going to say, yo, fam, we are in this shit together, fam. Savon, in every story. I don't even got to say whatever it is on him. I need you to just do the right thing. But in every example that you say, it starts with, if I know. True. Even outside of that. Yo, if I know that such and such always carries. Yo, if I know that my man has something on him, I'm going to know that the we're operating under the you don't know nothing. Mm. So you don't think anybody in his camp, his friends, I don't his best see friend, his girl, camp. his mom, whomever, just because you don't see it. I'm asked, you don't think there's see, one well, sometimes when people you that assume knows that he got Sometimes that. when people want to make a move, they bust a move. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. the part that you're neglecting. We all got to be responsible for ourselves. Mm. At the end of the day, that's all this that is. This weekend, if I want to skate somewhere... Maybe a few of my mans might know, but even they won't know the conditions under which I'm traveling. They don't know if I brought shorts or pants. Or the nine. <laughs> right. Or the nine. Or the nine. <laughs> or the nine. Not, yeah. And the people that love me and are invested in me, I think that they sleep well, assuming that I'm not trying to bring a nine through the airport. And, and on top of that, if if we know Joe going somewhere, nobody's going to be like, even if he carried all the time, yo. Don't take the nine through the airport. We think you know yeah, not to take the nine job, to the airport. Man, that's True. your job. Yeah. True indeed. That's your job. That's nobody's job to tell you not to take a nine through TSA. True indeed. Yeah. And that's I nobody's know. job to remind you to check to see if that you, yo, yo, double check your bag. Make sure the nine not in there. Mm-hmm. Like, you got to own that. Yeah. Look at me now. Kind of strange. Uh-huh. Hate y'all too. <laughs> Rather be in Caribbean sands with, yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah, chill, out. <laughs> chill, chill out right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with Rachel. Yeah, my best friend was named Rachel. That I used to fuck back then. Who rock on hated on me for, and then I stopped fucking, and it was over. But yeah, that was my line. Rather be in Caribbean sands with Rachel. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Houston Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson accused of sexual assault in third civil lawsuit. I have not read this. I don't know all the details on this, so let me get my ignorant opinions out mm-hmm. ahead of you guys, and then you guys can share. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, I think this is what happens to black men when they buck the system. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Now, that don't mean that some foul shit didn't happen, because I don't know. I wasn't there, and I'm not vouching for people I don't know. But what mm-hmm. I'm saying is that when prominent, valuable black men buck the system, we normally get a mass media meltdown of why we should not support that person. Yeah. To that you guys say, or to the story you guys say, what? Um, I've I've read both sides that it may be the Texans. Someone said that the lawyer is friends with the McNair family. I've also read that it may be Deshaun trying to drop his own price down so they have to trade him because he doesn't want to be there and they don't want to <laughs> trade him. That would be cute. That's crazy. So that I don't know. It, That's I, a Joe move. I think both could be valid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It is. That's a Joe it is. move. And either yeah. way. I like that move. Either but way, so, I'm a you Dolphins would. fan, and we're the well, most talked about team to get them, so when you don't, when drive you don't, that price down. When you don't do it for the money, the money don't do it for you. Mm-hmm. Right. right. I, I don't think that this is a money situation for him. I think he wants to get away from Houston. I don't think it's a money Houston. situation anywhere because the Bam. other— the And other if I want to get away from Houston, right— I ain't going to just watch uh, Hopkins and J.J. Watt reunite in Arizona and fucking be kissing cousins. And A.J. Green. He's in there, too. Yeah. Come on, man. Enough of this. (laughs) Enough of this. And and it's not a money situation, even on the other side, because um, I was reading that the the, uh, accuser, Uh the the, the suit is $500. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Huh. So it's like, it's it's not money. The money's Hmm. not the motive, obviously, either way. Hmm. This... I, again, I, I stay away from these particular situations only because, without knowing all the information, mm-hmm. nowadays you 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 have to believe the victim one hundred percent, no matter what. Mm-hmm. If you don't, even if you slightly question, you're you're out of here. So, mm-hmm. I prefer to just shut up mm-hmm. until and let everything come out, and then. Hey, I, I reserve my judgment. Not that's too. responsible of you. I, I've, been in, I've been in a few massage parlors totally in that. my life. Mm-hmm. And I know what happens in massage parlors. I'll just leave it at that. I don't know what's going on here. 
Oh, these are all massage parlor uh, accu- accusations? Yeah. See, I don't know. Yeah, See, that's some, even weirder. I don't, yeah, with, something uh, like crafty, that. Yeah, and so. I know what you used to do and when you used to go to the bathroom when we all lived in total together with girls. Who? You. You who? You. I love you. <laughs> You. <laughs> hey, listen, I don't know what these gentlemen hey, are talking about. Hey, okay. nigga. Hey, he said, you who? <laughs> you who? <laughs> I don't know what I, these young gentlemen are talking true, about. True, true. No, they don't worry about it. Yeah, I don't worry about it. I know. Don't worry about it, man. Yeah, uh, I, yeah I, don't, I don't. Prayers up to the victims if, you know, the, the accusations are true. And uh, come to Miami, Deshaun Watson, he get, He's getting a check from a team. <laughs> oh, he's, get, he's got a guaranteed he contract. Is, he's, he's getting a check. Yeah, he's getting a check from NFL. a team. Well, but... You know, See, it's fucked up how we handle him versus how we handle Cuomo. <laughs> Yo. But on the flip. Man, I mean, nobody it, feels it, bad. No, I'm not it, mad it, it's I'm, not fucked up but to me because. Uh, it, it's not right. fucked up. Hold on, let me hear. Let me no, hear. I'm What's just saying. It, it's not fucked up to me because. It looks like there's a motive behind. Well, nigger and harmony wasn't fucked up to you either. <laughs> but, let's, but let's hear it. But let's hear it. Tell yeah, us. Yeah, Tell yeah. us. It was, it's not fucked up to me because Deshaun Watson yeah. is clearly turmoil within the establishment that he's in. Um, it looks like when I first heard the story, I was like, "Damn, they got him." Mm. I'm like, "Damn, they going after him." I don't know. Like, I didn't read the report that Parks Fred where it's his team that's leaking the shit, but. It's like that, was okay. just a, that may have been a conspiracy theory, and that's don't, conspiracy. Do not, yeah, we do we not. don't know much about this. Like yeah. this article came out March eighteenth. Right now we're recording March nineteenth. Whatever the case is, and so I don't know. We don't know the facts, mm. but it looks nasty as if the organization, the establishment, what he's going against, everything that is it, very similar to an artist trying to get off a record label. Mm-hmm. Like fam, y'all are nasty and, and, and fucked up, and I don't want to be here. So they're gonna do everything against him to put put dirt on his yeah, name, put, put stain on. Him. So that's the the mindset that I came from. When I watch this, so it's just a nasty situation, and we don't know. I think to to give such strong opinions about something like this, you gotta let it play out. Now, now let me just play. I hate this phrase. Let me just play devil's advocate here, though. Let's say these accusations are all true, mm-hmm. and the organization knew about it. They're not true, no. but but let, let just for the sake of argument, mm-hmm. everything's true. Organization knew about it, but because this is our franchise, man, we bury it. Now you kicking back to us. Mm-hmm. We gonna dig it up. You, you see what I'm saying? Like we don't know. It's just so much we don't know. I don't want to just. But I don't what we just, do, but right, what we well. do know is that the Houston Texas has referred to the people that play for their team as inmates, and we do that know the mindset of who the the Houston Texans are and how they view black people and black NFL players when it comes to work and when it comes to the things that they provide. At the end of the day, the players are the bottom line. But we, what's on record, like, this is not me making it up. This is not my feelings. No, we right. know the owner, the former owner of the Houston, Texas said, yo, y'all are inmates and this is the prison and the infrastructure. Right. Let so me, from that me, standpoint, it trickles down. Let yeah. me add on to what Savon says we know. What we also know is what the Seattle Seahawks were offered in a package deal for Russell Wilson. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We know that. I read it. It looked beautiful. Amazing. It said three first round rounders, Mm -hmm. two second rounders, swap pick protection. It was two starters. Like Mm -hmm. it was a lot. So if that's what's happening for Russell Wilson, and I'm Deshaun Watson, even with these allegations, I still need three first rounders. Mm -hmm. Like that's not changing. Well, Deshaun, the price is the price. Deshaun don't care what the price is. He's got a guaranteed contract. You can get whatever you can trade me for a fucking seventh rounder. I don't give Mm -hmm. a fuck. (laughs) <laughs> I'm not going to watch Dak Prescott get all that money and be Deshaun uh, Watson and say, yeah. you know but what? Yeah. Deshaun slated, for, I think, for $40 million next yeah, year. Yeah, he got his money. He got, right, gar- he got a big bag right last after, year. Right um, after Patrick not a big, Mahomes. That's not a big bag if I'm Deshaun Watson. Well, if I'm Deshaun Watson, $40 million a year, I'm looking around at the other quarterbacks that got that, and I'm saying, what, what, wait, 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 wait. I think he signed the biggest quarterback deal but right before Mahomes. Mm-hmm. He signed a huge deal. Only one problem with that. Then Mahomes well, signed. Yeah, I know. I get it. That, so Pres- re- that, that Prescott waited. What well, do you mean? You, you want to re? That's that's. No, that's, I'm saying that's, you want to re up the deal now. Uh, maybe not now, but next year. At some point, I'm doing that. Listen, uh, what's the uh the receiver from the Saints? Uh, Michael, 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 Michael Thomas. Mike Thomas. Uh, 
or Julio Jones. I forget. Somebody got the big, big extension. Then two years, Julio Jones, definitely. Mm, definitely. Got the big extension. Two years later, he was still balling, wanted to fix that and adjust it to okay. what the market the represents. Okay. Yeah. If Mahomes signs, it changes everything for everybody. Absolutely. Dak Prescott knew that. Yeah. Deshaun mm-hmm. Watson knows that. Mm-hmm. Like, we want to see what's going on. Yeah. And if I'm Deshaun Watson and Dak Prescott gets 40, sorry, buddy. I need 42. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> at least yeah. for me to even entertain the conversation. Yeah. Listen, that's that's where I'm at. Come to Miami, Deshaun Watson. <laughs> I'm begging. <laughs> no, I'm begging. I don't care. <laughs> uh, rest in peace to Keyshawn Johnson's daughter. That oh, happened yeah, as well. Yeah. Really yeah. horrific story. Mm. Uh, prayers and condolences to his entire family, fans, friends, everybody uh, related to that. Really unfortunate. Uh, what else happened? What else happened? Um, while we're on sports... This is this is oh, rest in to... peace, uh, Yafet Koto, the actor from Homicide, from... Wire. Uh, he's yeah, in right bad now. movies. Yeah, yeah, legendary actor. How did he piece. pass? I'm not sure. He he was I think 80 or something to oh, that okay. degree. Not to say that that's not still fairly young in this day and age, but you got it. This is not a sports podcast, but I will ask you guys this quick sports question, and then we can move on. Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's What's up? It. It's going to sound offensive, but it's not. Is Paul George food? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, let's when have to talk. But when you I, say I, food, I, 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 let's have to talk. Like, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, not. I can't do that. that. Let's have to talk. talk. When you say food, define food. Just define. <laughs> I know. Nigga, that nigga I is understand what now, you mean by we, when you say we, food. Now we have to define food Please, for the for listeners. Please, for me. For me. Because I, I don't like. Rory. I, I don't like the tone. I don't like the tone that you're using All right, somebody let's do it. when somebody establishes Paul right, let's George. do it. It's not a sports podcast. Yeah. But when we talk about the Clippers, we talk about perimeter defense. We talk about Kawhi and Paul George as two of the best defenders, two-way players in the league. Mm-hmm. Um, and every Clippers game I see for the past two to three years or however long Paul George has been there, mm-hmm. they put him on the primary scoring <laughs> option on the other team. And that player looks like he really enjoys it. <laughs> He's not a dog. Damian Lillard loves when Paul George is put on him. And that's not my first example. My mm-hmm. first example is the person that torched him, Luca. Every time I see the Clippers play, play Dallas and <laughs> the Clippers put Paul George <laughs> on Luca, yeah, Dallas you. seems excited. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of the game, yeah. when Luca said, ah, 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 yeah. and it just politely moved him to the side and drank the floater, yeah. I said, all right. <laughs> is anybody yeah. gonna ask yeah. do players look at Paul George like as food, food? Yeah. you say to that what I say you can't say that I say, okay got no you can't. don't worry about it because when you look at Luka say no more like, say no more but Luka, 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 Luka is no an exceptional talent hey that man is mac and cheese and I'm not I'm not <laughs> saying <laughs> Paul George's food with, I'm with not saying Paul chicken. George's I want fries and I want Tony Parker Westbrook and all types of point guards cooked Collard greens. That, 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 <laughs> but we, we talking about point guards. Like exactly. he, he's a wing player. He's a wing player. But if and, you and Luka Doncic, his, his skill set is of a guard. Even if you see his change of pace, it's of a guard. I'm not gonna ever say somebody with his athleticism, his height, his size is food. I, especially he's established on the team. I, 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 so I, no, I want to counter what you're saying. His mm-hmm. change of pace to me is not guard like. It's like Joe Budden like. Who Luke? Who like, Luca? Luca. It's quick. It's not. Nah. It's very. It's, it's the slow. Nah, it's in it slow motion. Mm-mm. All the commentators say he's playing the game at his own pace. pace. <laughs> it's really slow. Mm-hmm. It looks like slower than I would do it, and it works. Mm-hmm. It's similar to Paul Pierce. All right, so he's not food. But no, so Paul George not food. No, he's he, playing against all elite NBA. Talent. Bro, all he's, he's, got it. Don't worry. He's about. food. Got he's it. food because Lucas sent them packing. No Porzingis. And he played. But Luca. They don't take is, him seriously in the playoffs, so I gotta an, call you fool. He's an outlier, fam. There's one Luka Don, Donkic in the last 20 years. Maybe if you want to throw Russell Westbrook with the numbers that they put up. But no, he's Jeremy not fool. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga is boss the Wait, wait. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that to Jeremy. No, Lane. you don't do that to Jeremy. <laughs> don't do that to Jeremy. <laughs> oh, nah, I was talking about PG stuff. My fault. Don't be yeah, Stop Asian nah. hate. Nah, Jeremy Lin is the one. <laughs> Come and on, that's a real one, part. That is a real one. That, that's, on, that's Jeremy Lin is the one. Let's not do that. We talking about PG. Respect, PG is forced to mark. All right, man. 
That boy is Boston this, Market. Joe. Let me tell you. This is when I would like flag some shit. <laughs> like this is when y'all look at me and say, yo, flag. Like that's what I'm doing wait, right wait, now. Wait, wait, we, wait. Not, we can't do that, hey, bro. Hey, Roy's not here to scream at it. So let me just get my shit off real quick. We can't do that, bro. Parks is an idiot. <laughs> no, Parks is real. <laughs> I'm Read saying, the room, I, Joe. No, but listen. No, 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 I'm going to tell you about why I'm stupid. The fuck? <laughs> I'm still stupid. And I shouldn't share this. But Parks brought it up, so I'm going to share it. Oh I'm God. talking about Jeremy. Park says stop Asian hate. I think that is hilarious. No, it's real. It was it was a segue. But listen to this. I'm so dumb. I'm, I'm afraid. Yeah. I'm <laughs> why but don't be afraid. <laughs> nah yeah. Trust in me as a, your leader. <laughs> let's, let's go. Don't have the nine. This. He doesn't L- have the nine. Listen to this. <laughs> I'm watching the news all week because oh, I watch the news. Here yeah, here we go. And the news is saying stop Asian hate, mm-hmm. and I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, <laughs> as as there you, you should, as you should, as you should. The, the, the turn coming. You fucking right. Just stop killing Asian Americans. Yes, I have a heart. Mm-hmm. I champion that, but I didn't know why they were saying it. <laughs> I just support that. Right? Yeah. Let me keep talking. Okay. I open my phone up. Mad people online, mm-hmm. artists I love saying, they'll stop the Asian hate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> African American, Asian American say, let the fuck stop. Hate. Why are they doing that? I am championing this, not knowing why it's happening. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But I saw the story four days ago that said, uh. The Atlanta spas are being shot at, and eight people were murdered. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace. And rest in peace, 1,000%. My ignorant, dumbass brain never took that as an attack on Asians. Uh, I see what you're saying. I yeah. saw the story. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Mm-hmm. I they thought it was it foul. Mm-hmm. I thought it was unfortunate. Right. What mm-hmm. lunatic is moving like this? Yeah. And then I was like, damn. A white terrorist. Fucked up for people that's at the spa. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, what an idiot, Joe. Wow, yeah. Well, I'm glad you When I go it. to yeah. the spa, mm-hmm. it's yeah. a bunch of black people at the spa. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's Atlanta. I think black people, you say this. I'm like, damn. Some terrorists, some American terrorists really had it in yeah. on blacks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Now. Right. Yeah. It took me like four days to figure out, whoa. What is everybody talking about? Whoa, whoa. The connected the dots. Right, right, The right. spas, age, this is a hate crime. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't know who it was a hate crime against. Mm-hmm. I didn't know if it was the Asians, the blacks. I didn't know. And it brought me to, yo, there's so much division in the world that I've had to deal with in 40 years. It's getting hard for me to keep up with all the division. Yeah, It's getting hard to keep up with the hate. The Dominicans and the Puerto Ricans hate each other. The Koreans and the Asians hate each other. The whites and the blacks hate whoever, whatever the fuck is going on classism. It's a lot to keep up with. It is. But man, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's like, sick shit. Well, for me, I think that it's, it's almost like with some of the issues that we face in our communities. It's like this was the isolated situation that brought it to the forefront. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I agree with that. This may be the example no, that it's came not across. Isolate. He sh- it wasn't the same spa. It wasn't, but that's what <laughs> it was, was different. Spas. There's been there's been, there's been uh, a lot of attacks on uh, Asian Americans. But the situation there was is a thing that happened the spa story at one point. Yeah, but this yeah. is the biggest. But one this moment. is the yeah. one that brings it to the forefront. Yeah. Uh-huh. So that's why, like, as you 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 kind of leading and up, leading us to where you're going. I'm looking at you like, wait, hold on, hold on, because just because this is the first one that you saw on the news, the reason that the the momentum behind it hit so hard is because this is a thing. Oh, no, I know it's a thing. Yeah. I'm saying I just failed to make the correlation when I heard the story, but I do know it's a thing. Back to my all of these groups with division, I know that transgender hate crimes are a thing. I know Uh that that, Mm -hmm. like all of this stuff exists, Mm -hmm. but when you hear about it, it's like so much hate and division to keep up with. Yeah. That, yeah, okay. I I see what's going on now. I see part part of my ignorance, and, and it's fucked up. And rest in peace to the fam. Uh, anybody who lost their life there, the friends and family of these people. Like I can't imagine just mm-hmm. losing life this way. I can't. Word. I can't. Every but every night now when I watch the news, it's Senseless. a story that Senseless I can't characters. imagine really happening. And Lay it's just stupid shit. Like. And in Brooklyn, uh, they 
threw a 90 year old lady to the ground, snatched her purse, ran off. Shit, I just read a story. My mom just read me a story yesterday. Happened in Jersey. A woman and her three year old son was in their backyard playing. Some neighbor or something had two pit bulls. I guess they got loose, whatever. They came in the backyard, mauled the little boy. The mother fighting him. The three year old died. The mother's still in the hospital fighting for her life, you know, fighting injuries. Wow. They put the two dogs to sleep, but it's like, dude, you in your backyard. And your mother reads to you, right? Your mom read that story to you? Yeah, my mom's read that to me. She called me like, yo, did you hear this? She read it, nigga. That's right. Yeah. Hey, listen, brother. Nah, nah, that's right. I didn't say that. Oh, yeah, that's check right. it in. No, 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 I feel you. I feel you. But no, no, it is, it's just wild shit happening. Yeah, though. it like, is. It just, is. And we're, we make jokes, but, we, you know, our heart nuts, goes man. out to, to people shit, that are victims nuts. of these crimes. You know, 100%. And then the nasty thing is, like, if you read this article, um, what is it, AP News? Mm. They describe the, the, the attacker as somebody who is addicted to sex. Yeah, right. So, they were trying to say he didn't. Sex uh, race wasn't the the yeah, driving and it, factor. And it, it, and it, and it goes back to that. It's like, fam, you go to a massage parlor expecting something. The entitlement of the experience when you go to a massage. This is not a happy ending part. That's not what the promo is when you go there. Mm-hmm. Like, and the happy ending shit is it's a thing. It's legal in certain places. Uh-huh. It's legal in other I countries. Wouldn't I wouldn't even know. I never did. No, nah, I'm just letting you know the research. You, know, how you, how you, you know? gotta do the research. How you know? um, <laughs> but that is a thing. This, this. Yeah. You look uh, like you be getting your ass licked. What I look like? You be getting your yeah, ass look, look. Like I get no. This place. <laughs> <laughs> this place. <laughs> this place, right? That, that's you don't know not the what it is, man. Like you don't know the address. Even if that is what it is. Even if that is what it is. It's corny. This right here doesn't correlate to that. You get mm. what I'm saying? Like, even if that is what it is, I don't care what it is. What are you doing? Mm. What is your mindset? It's just like the guy they arrested outside of Kamala Harris's house. Yeah, like, yeah, what the yeah, hell yeah. You, like, is this where we going with it? Or, yes, like, it's the answer. Yeah. That's where they're trying to go. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, like they feel like this that's is nuts. Yeah. Well, when they stormed the Capitol, I didn't put it beyond them that they would wait outside the vice president's house with a. Rifle. Right. <laughs> Nuts. I didn't put it past the people I did. <laughs> Sorry. White American black, supremacy terrorists. The black that, that's, woman. That's really what it all boils down to. Yeah. Not I just the vice did. president, Joe. I you you got to preface that, bro. She She's no, a black woman. No, no, not no, just the vice no, president. One thousand percent. But before we get to the black woman vice president, I can't imagine dying at the spa. I'm not off of that. Mm-hmm. Like I make jokes That's about when right. when when I had a fight at the hookah spot. Mm-hmm. That was weird. Yeah. You should mm-hmm. be enjoying yourself here. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I'm dying at the spa. The spa. Right. But it, it right. goes to something that I keep with. Like and I say this on me and Alex's podcast all the time. Like, yo. Control your horny. Like, my thing is, fam, there's two things that's always going to keep you out of trouble. If there's a woman that you're dealing with, unfollow her. Or if there's a situation that you want that's not presented to you, go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Just spoke about that. Go to sleep and unfollow. See, I think that's so that's you, easy. So you, and now, in real life, maybe it's not unfollow. Maybe it's don't go to that establishment. So you know that even though you double back to the Denver club <laughs> when your whole touring party has gone to bed. So you know this stuff. That's I don't think that's that this was an issue of him being horny, he by really the way. Knows. I think he's no, it's it's I know he said it. I know he said it. Unfollow her. <laughs> Go to bed. I mean, Don't yeah. follow your dick. That's you it. You have to learn. Think with the right head, nah, bro. You're right. No, right? You got to learn. Not I don't believe one. him. I don't believe that for one. Yeah, I don't believe that. I don't believe any of that. I don't believe like, that for I believe that this is a, this is the spin curse. This is COVID. This is the hate that has been spewed yeah. over all yep. of the Asian. Yep. Yep. Yo, they bought this, 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 yeah. this, this pandemic here. I think that, that this right here is all... For when we go to court, this is how we get to paint this person. Right, mm-hmm. he's gonna be in front of a jury of his peers. Right, mm-hmm. and oh, I'm a sex addict, and bro, you went to four, three to four different, different spas. Mm-hmm. That's the part that's sick. That's sick. Yeah. It wasn't one spa. It wasn't two spas. This was a spa spree. Yeah, and also that, if you're too horny, I don't understand how you rectify that by going to shoot up spas. 
and nah, the worker. Because when you're horny, you don't think, bro. Nah. Like when when you when your libido or nope. whenever your your judgment whenever is you're crowded. Say, nope. Mm-mm. But I just believe, like, <laughs> how many times nope. as as a man Love you me. say, yo, before I make a decision, let me just get one off, get the nut off, and and now I think a little bit clearer. Say no, Vaughan, everybody say, doesn't have that wherewithal. I'm not giving this man credit for that. Like, fam, your horny can get you in trouble. I say that all the time. Hey, let me get my shit off real quick so I don't make a wrong decision. Mm-hmm. Nowhere in that equation is that decision killing anyone. Right. I'm not jerking off to a but boy. But that's you. We just watched, I, I think it was a, a about a month ago, we dog. just watched a neighbor in Philadelphia kill his neighbor because of a snow discrepancy. Right. Because he was upset that the snow was being shoveled on his property, which it was really in the street. You can't predict or, or, or judge somebody else as crazy or they're horny in this fact. In that situation, he was crazy in Philadelphia. You can't shoot me over a snow removal, bro. And and it's the same premise with this situation. And it sucks because... So you think if he'd have busted nut, he wouldn't have went outside and shot him? I absolutely believe and, if he would have got what he, what he wanted because what he wanted as a sex addict is to bust a nut. And let me say something to you. If I'm a killer... I can kill you over the snow. If I'm a killer, I can kill you over the face that you made. If I'm right. a killer, I can kill you over whatever the fuck I feel like. I don't need a reason. Right. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm a killer. Sometimes. That's the problem that a lot of civilians a have. We start using rationalization over things. Mm-hmm. But no, this is under the interpretation of what the killer thinks. Mm-hmm. Not what your good thinking thinks. <laughs> When the killer says, hey, fam, that's my shovel. You snowing too much. You're on my property. You got to go. You have a different issue on your hand. It's not, hey, that's wrong. Right. Mm. Hey, that's my property. You're bugging out. It's not that. It's, oh, now what? Yeah. Rest in peace to uh, the Asian Americans that lost their lives in Atlanta and love and prayers to all the uh, Asians, Asian Americans that are. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, oh man. Wait, we got breaking oh, wait, news. I'm out. We got breaking news, y'all. Hey, whoa, whoa. It's going to be a hot girl. It's going to be a hot summer. Whoa, whoa. whoa. All the hot girls is up this summer. They finna be up. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait one second. You better shut your mouth. Oh my God. Not icy. Not icy. Not uh, ice. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we have word from Sweetie from a tweet from an hour ago. Nigga, boy, I'm back on. Two tweet. tweets, by the way. Yeah, two tweets. Not just one, y'all. She said, I'm single. Period. Come on, give it a voice, man. Give it a voice. I've endured. <laughs> I've endured too much betrayal and hurt behind the scenes for a false narrative to be circulating that degrades my character. Presents don't band aid scars, and the love isn't real when the intimacy is given to other women. Man, she's snitching. Whew. You need shots, man. You Sweetie doing? goes on to say. I emotionally checked out a long time ago and have walked away with a deep sense of peace and freedom. Excited for this new chapter of Elevation, prayer hands emojis. Mm -hmm. Now, (laughs) this is the exact moment that I've gotten myself in extreme amounts of trouble over the years. (laughs) I always have something to say about somebody else's relationship as it relates to their happiness, their breakup, their interactions. And I always tell y'all how I feel about it. And that's rude. It's inconsiderate. And I've been listening to people and maybe I'm inconsiderate. So I want to try to change those things. Right? Hmm. Okay. (laughs) But. (laughs) And I pieced it up with Quavo. Quave, what's up? Migos, what up? P, Coach K. Everybody over there at QC, y'all already know what time it is. And I don't think that this is a permanent thing here, so that's why I'm going to have some fun with it. But this hurts. This hurts if I'm a dude. Well, I am a dude, and I've been here, and it hurt way worse than this when she wasn't as famous as Sweetie. (laughs) (laughs) But my only thing is this. We just called Duke Justin. I didn't know this Sweetie tweet was coming. I didn't know it happened. I'm shutting up. 
I'm shutting up. I'm shutting up. I'm shutting up. I'm not saying no, 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 and you sit across from your ex. I don't want my present girl sitting across from her ex while we're in a thick of an argument. That's, that's saying me. that's saying mm-hmm. something without saying something is what I'm saying. Right. And from her point of view, mm. she's letting you know something she without said, saying it. I've been fed up. Yeah, I, I went here. And who knows? No one was just. I'm, I can't speak for her. you. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Sure. Like, Joe heard those sentiments before. I've seen this before, man. I understand yeah. what's happening. All I'm saying is I don't love it. That's it. But I mean, sweetie, they don't know me. That ain't none of my business. Hey, some around the corner. It's getting hot. I mean, they need. Hey, listen, the, the hot girls need somebody. The hot, the hot it's about girl, to be look, an ill summer. The hot Niggas girls need somebody. From jail and you know, they plot. Car- Cardi is, you know, she locked down. Meg is posting uh, happy with her dude. They need somebody. I so. need a beacon of hope. Yeah. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Might be on the song. Yeah. This. This might. This. You say things without saying things. And you gonna this go back and your, your ex look like he miss you. Like I don't. I don't like that. <laughs> Don't go around your ex and look like they her. miss you. You love sweetie. <laughs> I don't know how Rim lets you get away with this stuff. Yo, I have no idea. You fake friends, man. That's what they keep saying. Dave. Dave. That's what they keep saying. Relax, relax. But I mean, Rim likes it. I love it. Rim likes it. I love it. To Parks, his credit, he picks and chooses. Zayvon, I'm sick of you out of one episode. Picks and chooses. He picks and chooses. Uh, listen, all. congratulate. Uh, well, congratulate. Congratulate. Yeah. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> oh, we support Sweetie and Quavo. We hope that their relationship is cool. And that's it, man. I'm not the relationship police. Yeah, man. Listen. I know that hurts, though. Ooh. That one hurts. Oh, yeah. I'm not losing my chick that just got mad, smashed singles. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody wants Bubbling them. right now. Yes. Yeah. yeah, man. You gonna send her into a summer alone? What's the for? I, I just want to know what's the false narrative. For every though? for every baddie is a dude tired of fucking her. Mm. Well, someone that said is, that. that is true. Mm. Yeah, is number three said that. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah, play with uh, him. Uh, all right, how about it? All right, what else we got? What else? What else? <laughs> Number three said that. I know. All right, what else we got? Yo, not to go back on the Grammys. Uh, talk real quick, but. Hold up, hold up. Wait, hey, goddammit. Wait one second. We're done with the Grammy talk, but. <laughs> Don't get him started. <laughs> you know he brought the cape today. Don't do that. You Don't heard do him. That. <laughs> uh, Trayvon, what he did on the album? It's, it's crazy. He champions this, but shit's on people. Ooh, it's crazy. Damn, you hate no Harry? No, never. Never, oh, wow. never. So you know, I got a lot of hate in this Hold blood. on. The I ain't got kind of hate, bro. Bro. I, I just got to hold you. Get it together. I just got to hold you with like, you know, hold your feet to the fire, dog. Hold your feet to the fire. We was just talking about, you know, the people over there in the UK. Harry's from the UK. Things ain't right over there. Like, uh, I mean, I'm just I'm just saying. I see. You make, hold up, man. You making me mad now. Hold <laughs> up. with my song? You making me mad. Was Silk Sonic singing live at the Grammys? Dog. I'm asking bro, you, Alex. Was he? Was, was that? <laughs> hey, Alex, was, was Silk Sonic singing live? Huh? Right was Silk Sonic singing live? If, uh, I had the, if I had their numbers, I would call them. Corey, was they singing live? None of them were singing Parks, live. Parks, was they singing live? No one was singing live. Post Malone Grammys. sung live. No, he didn't. No, yes, he did. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> you crazy as hell, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy as hell. <laughs> Uh-huh. Is no, it, don't have a disrespect that. Bruno Mars compared to like is when it, it comes to vocally right, time out, don't do that is I'm it volume doing. on this no no <laughs> 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 fuck out of here oh, oh, my God, I like that yeah. part oh, I like that part oh, I like that part nope oh man this shit is hard though. Bruno sorry nah I'm not with that hey don't sound like yeah. hip-hop. Yo, Ice. Say something. They sound uh-huh. like hip hop drums. Now it's your ice. They your like, ice. They now sound it's like your ice. Hip hop drums. It's, oh, Throw, the, the, oh my god. Throw it back up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> drums. St. John drums. Fuck hip hop drums. <laughs> Those are hip hop drums. Watch his chord change. 
Y'all they, like, they don't feel the court change. Never mind. Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> what Dua Lipa did? <laughs> what happened? What Billie Eilish did? They, don't they, worry they, about they, it. They, 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 respect, they, they don't respect real talent when they hear it and see it. Nah, that's Savon. Look, he I'm wasn't that's singing it. live. That's not hip hop, bro. Ooh, look, Undertaker vibes. <laughs> Back to the crowd. Stop playing with him. Stop playing with Post. Okay. <laughs> fuck. When Chrome Hearts. All right, we're two and a half in. Uh, Somehow there is a lot to talk about, but we should go. <laughs> we should this is not let me see 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 uh it's Paul George Food Kanye West uh richest man richest black man in American history at six Kanye. billion dollars uh, let's hit the round of applause for Kanye why oh, Forbes keep hating on well, they put that out and then received yeah. it they know what, well they didn't put that number out oh, they, okay. they put their number out and said no it's not actually 6.6 6, billion it's more like 1.6 but that's still like still great. they said because he's um they're counting future profits from oh. the the gap deal hasn't made any money yet oh. so you can't put a number on it yeah no that's true so like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like that's, that's don't hate true. on that man no. if it ain't made no money how can you put a number on it that's what Ooh. I've been saying. I'm serious. I understand that thinking is all I'm saying. Got you. Bro. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> shout out I to Kanye West, man. I didn't need. Man. Oh, okay. Shout out to him, B. Nah, 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 shout out. Nah, nah, you you got a bunch of shout out. You, 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 you got to show respect, man. You you got to pay. Like, that's love. When, when somebody had. Even Scott's if the numbers great. aren't real. I'm going to go get some orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> even, even, <laughs> I'm just saying. Even if the numbers aren't real, 6.6 to 1.6. That's still an accomplishment. I'll take the one point six. Because, because when you look at it, is, is the foundation you, is hip-hop, Joe. That's, that's what I'm coming Sivon, from. He used hip-hop drums, is too. Is Kanye West the richest black man to ever grace the earth? Yes um, or no? Truthfully, I do not know that. So I can't say yes or no. If you, I had you to like some orange if, <laughs> if I had to give you an answer, I would say no, but I don't know that for sure. So for him to even be in that conversation, you got to show love because it comes from a space of hip-hop. We see a lot of billionaires make their money off of tech. We mm -hmm. see a lot of billionaires make their money off of investments in other places. So when you hear one person outside of Jay Z, outside, I'm, out, outside, which is why I salute him, Dr. Dre, outside of the normal names that you hear, which is only in, in Diddy, respectfully, which is only a handful of people. When Kanye West en enters the conversation, Savon, you gotta, it's you Kanye show West, the that, richest bro. black man in American history, with a net worth of six billion dollars. Is my question to you? Yes or no? I pulled it up for you. I just said. In my no, now pull up. Thank the you. That's it. But if That's I, it. I, I don't now know. listen, now listen, because they listen. The know. connotation, oh, the they connotation, or whatever is implied with that, should mean nothing. If Kanye West made See? one billion, yeah. one million, six billion, not six right. trillion, it they wouldn't matter him, so. because we support that. My issue is not with Kanye and all of his accomplishments. He's a genius and he's amazing. We all got that. We don't need a news report on that. Mm -hmm. My issue is when you just attach a headline that don't have nothing to do with nothing. Mm -hmm. We could celebrate Kanye oh, yeah. without adding a lie so that we discredit Kanye. Kanye is not the wealthiest black man to ever walk the face of the earth. But that shouldn't be an indictment against him. That shouldn't be right. like, what are we talking about? Right. Respect. Yeah. Like that's all Like some of this Mass media news Clipping shit That goes out Is just a little off We've been killing Kanye For years With his mental health His presidency run uh, Kim The divorce Amber He's been getting killed For a while mm -hmm. I played a huge part In that But you don't kill somebody For making An uh, estimated Six billion dollars You don't And you don't find a way To attach a headline That would make People kill him mm -hmm. He's not the richest man Ever to walk the earth but who cares? Right. Mm -hmm. right. Salute that man. Right. Round of applause. Right. That's what I'm saying. It's awesome. Salute him anyway. I don't care. I'll take a 1.6. I don't care if it's, I don't care if it's <laughs> 900 I care million. What it is. Whatever. Just salute him. Point six. Sure. <laughs> this man was 53 million in debt. Lord. Like man. 10 years ago, damn near. It was in debt five years ago. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe it was that. But I'm just saying. But what like, he was saying, he was in debt. I was saying, oh, he's not in debt. Y'all are liars. I didn't. I didn't. That's a lie. Either it's not a lie or it's a lie. One or the other. If you're telling me you're in debt, I don't believe you. And I think you're fucking mega mega rich. Fucking <laughs> Bailey told me he was in debt after he hit the lotto. 
<laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I told niggas I was in debt after I got my first little meal. Like, uh, <laughs> yo, man, yo, I, that went straight to me, man. Mess. Can you believe it? The taxes on that. Hey, they pushed the taxes back to May. Round of applause. Hey, look, everybody got it. That don't matter to nobody, right? No, 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 everybody no, no. rich. No, 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 everybody rich. No, everybody no. got it. It's cool. No, I understand. We was ready to pay. Go. <laughs> we was ready to pay. Uh -huh. Light. Oh, they pushed uh -huh. it back off. Oh, like, lucky pay, them. Might pay next year. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> we, we out here. Yeah, he, 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 he was like, yo, man, congratulations. They put the taxes back to May. I was like, well, we still got to pay it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all so happy. For April, it. May, it has to get paid. Sorry. Damn, they have 12 cases against the show now. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. 12. You got to wait for the... Sounds for familiar, me. right? Yeah. You got to wait for it to unfold. Right. right. You got, you, Sounds familiar. You got to wait. How okay. many times can he throw the back route over the shoulder toward the back of the end zone? Every single time from what I've seen. <laughs> I know, those are unrelated. I'm just asking. Yeah. Listen, man, Deshaun Watson is a creep. Get him out of here. <laughs> I just don't believe the timing of this. Mm -hmm. Again, like I said. And you can't say that. Yeah, yeah, you can't exactly, say that. Exactly. Believe, believe no. women. Wait for it. Mm -hmm. Listen, that's, that's one of the Cuomo say. accusers is working for Cuomo actively. Mm -hmm. Like still? Yes. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. So I just want them to get it together before they <laughs> let me know niggas is creeps. Like, don't tell me he's a creep and she's working there. Like, protect mm -hmm. her. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. <laughs> if she if she needs protection, but it goes back to the Grammy yeah. conversation. Like, it shit is all staged, it's smoke and mirrors, until it's proven otherwise. Like for me, when I first hear the report that the 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 biggest, and I've heard um Nick Wright from F uh, FS One, he said I this. I know who that is. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> Nick Wright from FS One. He said, oh, yo, and, and, and this is a sports journalist. He was like, yo. <laughs> If is this Deshaun Nick Wright with, with the hair or without the hair? This is with the hair. Got a new Nick yeah. Wright. Incredible. Yeah, That's yeah, my yeah. Man. new guy, new guy. All right. He said if Deshaun Watson is in fact really on the market or if he does get traded, this would be the biggest uh, trade asset in NFL history. A quarterback that's in his prime, that's in this kind of contract, that's this productive, that's this young, it's never been seen. And if you think about it as a sports fan, you've never seen any quarterback be on the market or say, hey, I want to get up out of this situation the way that Deshaun Watson is doing. Well, I don't know because I've, I've watched football for seven years. I don't go back any further than that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can't fuck with you. I just, hey, I, 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 I get it, but I get it. Yeah, you just hate it when niggas say that. Uh, you just gotta let them go. It. Just I get it. This nigga is 24. No trade has ever happened in the history. So you tell me. I don't know that. Yeah, I don't know that. Herschel Walker's not a quarterback. I know. The quarterback has been the <laughs> most luxurious position in the I'm NFL. Sure, I'm sure Don Shula was traded or something before my day. <laughs> I'm sure there was know. an impactful trade so that I'm forgetting about. Montana was I don't know John Elway I'm shut just, up but that's when they was older shut in their up. career bro they, you, you let Beef say nigga John, John Elway didn't <laughs> get traded in his prime you don't get to say nothing god damn it I didn't say it Nick Wright did go talk to Beeps. Nick Wright did <laughs> Nick Wright did uh, is there anything else that is really important we've been talking for 2 hours and 40 minutes damn look up and you said you're not a potter look I'm not look I'm not man see come on I need, need you Young, well, well, hey, you, 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 you caught me. What happened? You showed up. All right, I appreciate that. Uh, Drake, uh, first, second, and third on the Billboard charts. Hung out with Bow Wow to celebrate. Soldier Boy got Logically. mad. Soldier Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, I just some shit. No one else did. Where's Bow Wow? <laughs> Don't you know that Bow Wow inspired Drake? Don't do yeah, that. No doubt, of course. So yeah, it makes sense. You call up Mister One Hundred Six if you're Drake. Don't you do that. Wow. Don't. It's you and Bow. But there were more people there. Nah, but Drake said you, you can't Bow. laugh at Drake and Bow if you support Bieber's harmonizing That's nigger. True. I'm That's not. True. I'm not laughing. I'm. I'm stating. <laughs> Drake has said that you. And Bow Wow. I'm trying to think. Was you even around? I can for see the if you put Bow Wow and Joe to put... together, you would come out with Drake. Was he even oh, around for 106 hour? Absolutely, I, I was. Joke that I just thought about that. Yeah, like, right over here. It's you. me and Bow. I didn't nah, hear that. You, didn't hear you him plus Bow equals Drake. I never heard Drake say that. It's the equation. He I'm, did, so I'm, I'm just running with it. Yeah. Well, he flew Bow Wow out to celebrate with him. He flew you out. I was home. Yeah. I was chilling. 
Hey, yeah. Did he shoot you a text or no, something? Soulja yeah, Boy, no, Soldier Boy was hating. Soulja Boy was hating. Yeah, Drake didn't like, hit you and say, he hit you looks? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what if he did? I mean, then what? Ooh. That's fine. Yeah, that's, Yo, what yeah, the fuck? You should post it. Yo, who do niggas think I am? Like, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Number three. Out. I don't want him to celebrate. If he hit me and congrats and said, Yo, man, thank you for the support, I would say, Yo, I didn't support you. <laughs> is, is, is this your way of hoping he hear this and hit you to the support? No, you? no. Let's, let's, that's the, yeah, that, mm-hmm. listen, listen, brother. Mm. <laughs> listen, anytime a brother come out, I'm foul. Uh, no, but I'm happy for this. Wait, what what soldier did that? I'm happy. He was angry. He, was, he said, "Listen, Drake stole my bar. I should be and there. You're not going to congratulate me on this. That's stole crazy. My whole bar to thank Bow Wow. See, Big Draco still got the smoke. That's all. He still got smoke for Bow Wow. Yeah. That's all that is." That's it. I don't have nothing else, man. I think I'm 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 newsed out. Okay. I'm done with news. I don't think they need my opinions or takes or critiques or anything. I think I think the culture can sustain itself. A couple more days. <laughs> Without they can me. live a couple more days. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You got to take that the, the nah, culture nah, can't nah, live nah, without. Nah, 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 I don't want my takes. So. <laughs> Trayvon, how about cool. you? Nah, I'm cool. You got some? Yeah, I'm, I'm cool. Chilling. Uh, let me just check this and make sure. Rest in peace to Reggie Warren of Troop. Oh yeah, he passed yeah, away. Yeah. Uh, hold up, let me play a troop record while I say that. Here we go. We gotta explain to you who Troop was, Savon. Please do. Yeah, yeah. yeah man, he's a baby. He really I is said, a baby. Do. He really is a baby. That's you don't know who Troop is, right? No, don't. I don't. I really I don't. don't. If I'm being honest, how did I don't. he? How did he pass? Unconfirmed. How did he pass? Dead at 51 years old. Cause of death is unconfirmed. Back to my theory that. Uh, as much death as we experienced in 2020, uh, at this point in the new year, we're experiencing the same. Uh, speaking of, uh, the Eric Holder trial is underway as well, mm-hmm. or will be underway on March 25th. Oh man, you never heard the song, Savant? Uh, no, I have not. This is true. Rest in peace to Reggie Warren. Rest in peace to anybody else that we have lost this year and the year before and the year before that. Uh, let's see what else is really important. Uh, Harry Styles won. Nikki is next. Friends of Men, Salt Bay feed you. Uh, TV. Let's get to TV real quick before we get out of it. Anybody? Y'all seen um, mm-hmm. Snowfall? Mm-hmm. Snowfall's turning up. It is. Yeah. Like, it has been for like three straight seasons. Now. Yeah, but I mean, like, <laughs> yeah. they hit, what's the season? Episode this is four. Five. Season four. Four or five. I believe five. Like, this is five. I think it's five. five. No, I'm yeah. saying season four, episode. No, 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 I'm talking about what episode it yeah, was. Five. Five. five, season four, episode five. Okay, mm-hmm. like they hit the ground flying yeah. this season, right yeah. out the gate. Well, shit got heck at the end of yeah. last season. Yeah, so. well, you know, usually you get that little slow burn. Like, yeah. no, there's none of that. They're not wasting. I haven't seen a wasted shot. Yeah, this entire season. Yeah, man. I am getting a little. Uh, uh, Franklin is starting to unravel. It looks like to me a little bit. Oh no, he looks like he's trying to come back around. He looked like he's yeah. He, he's usually he's all business. Like like I like what Manboy was saying to him at the at the yeah. end of the last episode. Spoiler I agree with alert! That. If if you're spoiler if, alert, oh, that's how you're, Ice is telling the episode not, 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 two days after it aired, <laughs> my three bad. days after you it seen aired. It, but, yeah, no, you should. That's how I feel. You should have seen it by then. Yeah. Right. They're gonna I'm kill Franklin and Leon. They're gonna <laughs> kill him, dude. I don't think they're gonna kill either. I was surprised. Leon want to get his hair braided. All right. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna be pretty dead. <laughs> he thinking that's gonna look gonna... great. You're gonna look great dead. He like they're not gonna recognize me with the braids. Right. Shit. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm not gonna shave it. I'm just gonna go get braids. <laughs> right. Franklin was like, "Mom, why you braided that nigga hair? <laughs> want to go check in? Why you? Why you made sure he was good? Uh, Snowfall. I'm really enjoying. Uh, I also started a show maybe last week. Uh, Murder Amongst the Mormons. Uh, mm. I was looking at that one. Where's that on? I settled I think, for I think through, Netflix, her, through her Netflix, eyes. Yeah. I don't know if y'all seen. I need, through I need her a couple eyes. more shows. Through her eyes. Yeah, that, through that her was, eyes. I did see somebody her told eyes. me yeah, to watch that. I, didn't, I, I thought, thought it was cool. The ending, the ending, was a little boring. The ending turned up crazy. Though. Murder amongst the Mormons, though. Check it out. Yeah. Okay. Netflix. Yeah. Whoever, dude. Spoiler alert: the dude that did it 
He did that shit. <laughs> Man, he tricked all of them Mormons. Yo, real quick, you say spoiler alert, just give it a little pause. Say you know spoiler I mean? alert and then like... Give you a chance. No, I mean like give it a chance to, to, like, no, to, I mean, like, to, to like go. And that's just me speaking from the guy who writes the descriptions. Like, <laughs> I, I try to write spoiler alert spoiler and then he's just right there. Point seconds later. <laughs> give it like... No, 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 listen. I seconds. totally understand that. Can I can I give you a suggestion as the dude that writes the... <laughs> <laughs> As the dude that writes the time and <laughs> shit like that. You ready? No, I'm ready. Here's my suggestion to you. When you do the timestamp, you should do it after uh, Erickson or whoever edits the thing. <laughs> Got you. Got if you, you do it first and mm-hmm. then edits are made, the timestamps are probably really off, right? True. True indeed. <laughs> now, Joe, now Joe's question is, I'm not disputing you. <laughs> if I never came to that conclusion, <laughs> How would that have been fixed? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Any, any who's you guys? <laughs> Niggas on YouTube like, hey man, is it me or are the timestamps getting worse and worse? Uh-huh. And I'm t- like, nah, they're not getting worse, y'all. He's just doing it before Erickson makes the edits. <laughs> like, well, <maybe>. Ta-da! <laughs> Hey, spoiler Ta-da. alert. Stomp Stamp's gonna be really <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Like Vaughn is great. Um, I'm gonna start watching WandaVision. Um, Actually, uh, I get why people like that. You started watching WandaVision? You just started? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where Where you you at? Wait, what show? WandaVision. Six, six I think. I'm um, not watching. Six out of episodes? nine. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, shout out uh, that, Disney Plus. That was, I heard that's a good show. Today, uh, Falcon amazing. and the Winter Soldier yeah. came First out, episode. Which is dope. From Mar- yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Marvel Universe. All that shit is all tied yep. in together. Yep. New Captain America. I haven't watched it, but that's that's another TV tidbit. Mm. And yeah. Joe, I think there's a documentary that you may be interested in. I don't know if you would like it. I think you would like it. Um, it's called No Eye and Threesome on HBO Max. I saw that. Well, I saw that. Uh, yeah, it popped it? up on my HBO Max. I didn't yeah. watch it. I saw it, but I didn't watch it, yeah. I think it, it's a pretty dope, especially for somebody like Joe. Like, there's been jokes about him being fluid and all that shit. Like, Ooh. I'm not gonna speak to his personal life, but <laughs> what's going on? No, and, Az- and Azalea Banks is like prediction. I don't know. I'm not there. So but, this 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 documentary will help him like. No, nah, it'll help him feel a little bit more. You know funny shit. Wait, come to terms with himself. That's funny it. shit. This is our new cast. <laughs> It's, it's not a cast. <laughs> I'm just talking to the show, bro. It was a good piece of content. HBO Max. Y'all big up HBO Max. So you're saying that somebody's fluid, I should enjoy it. Um Don't somebody no no no. Because you like there's been a like I read Reddit. I, I don't know it, if you read Reddit. I and don't. the whole cuck hole thing is a thing around your name. What the fuck is happening here, yo? <laughs> that's what is going on, bro? Joe's like, a cuck. That's, that's what you they saying what? over you there. Know what, Joe? I didn't put that Joe, out there. That's what they Joe, saying over don't, there. Don't call me next week, bro. Uh, <laughs> like that's not for me to say. <laughs> but with that being a thing, I think what what is it shows the true elements of like Cucking? the good and bad of it's open a, relationships. Is a, a, a cuck doc? You can't speak uh, on Joe Button documentary. Okay. <laughs> Wait. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you got your line out. Nah, sure. <laughs> that line is never coming out again, buddy. Um, all right, I don't have anything else that is imperative that we get to. I think this was really just real quick. None of y'all watched the uh, Snyder cut of Justice League. Right? Watching it for our movie. I saw it. Not you watched it. Yeah. What'd you think? What I, what I walked in and told you, Ace. I don't remember. That's so why I'm asking what you thought. Why they got bat? All right, never mind. Wait, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Wait, we're not talking about your boy Batman. No, no, we good. We good. We good. Go All the other superheroes ahead, feeling bad for him. So, you know, they walking with him instead of them flying. Wait, now, that, wait, now. If that's what's happening. But if that's what's happening in the Justice League. They also suspended their superpowers to make him feel comfortable. We're not doing this. Now they don't want to fly. We're not doing this. Listen. We're not doing this. If that's what's happening in Justice League, I'll watch it. Oh, oh, what's happening? If all the superheroes Yo. are just feeling bad for Batman, for the rich guy, <laughs> then Listen, I'm down with that. He's getting that. bigged up. Other than that, I'm not watching it. Four hours is too long up. for a movie. It's broken up into parts, though. Oh, okay. You it actually it. says it on, well, when yeah. you, it has the markers on the screen, and it actually uh, okay. will say like, part one, part two. I'm so sorry. If you do want to stop I'm sorry. it, I don't care. Like, <laughs> I know where to, it, I know where to go back to. That's yeah, why I'm like, sure. I, I stopped first, it. The first Justice League was, yeah. wasn't the best, so. I agree. I'll go back and watch that. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you, guys. You have fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> I see what they tried to do with Marvel, though. The story is sort of similar in them having to find something and get mm-hmm. the team together. Mm-hmm. Get the team together to stop it. Yeah, 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 yeah I saw yeah. a similarity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, y'all. It's him. His uh, name. It's not him. No, it's him. Oh. Yeah. Can I end this? 
<laughs> it's gonna end this, Avon, if you don't mind. You can't defend Justin Bieber for harmonizing nigger in hour one and then shit on Post Malone as we try to end. If you accept one, you accept them both. That's what I learned with Doja Cat in Post. All these people that scream nigger to gain way into the culture, if they make good music after that, I will accept them. But you, you know what I mean? So you accept Justin Bieber? If if it's fire. Last album wasn't fire. You, you can't call me a nigger okay. if, your, if your last album wasn't fire. Hey, truth of the matter, I'm not really affected when the whites say that. When the whites say nigger. But you was, though, and it's documented. No, 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 no. You was. I'm, a, I'm offended at the audacity, but if you're calling me that personally, I'm, it's not time to kill you now because you call me that. I'm a prominent, yeah, proud me. black man. So right. I, you can't convince me that I'm something else. Exactly. Got it. But the fact that you said that, yeah. and you thought you'd oh, get away with it, oh yeah, he was twelve. And then you wanted old. a Quavo feature. He was twelve, man. <laughs> then don't get a Quavo feature. I, I knew 13, what I was doing at man. twelve. Now, me too. Uh, man, digging up my nose. I was a big boy. Digging up my butt. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, it was twelve. It was crazy at twelve. <laughs> Yo, anyway, can I get back to Post Malone? <laughs> Listen, man. Hollywood bleeding. Yeah, real singing. <laughs> real talent, finally. Let me turn this up, man. I don't want to hear from y'all. Edit this music out for YouTube. You say you want to leave me, but you can't right now. You relate to that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. I'm asking. Do, do you relate to that? It's not like you were like saying. Somebody wanting to see you, but they can't right now? I, I can relate to that. Uh, I can the worst, right? I can relate to that. She wasn't trying to get to know me, dog. When she, she left, when she left, you felt like she knew you for real. <laughs> me for real? No. <laughs> no. So it's a lot of relatability, but you don't like the song. It's a little bit. Listen, breaking news: my baby mama tweets. That oh shit God. feels so good when you leave a cheating ass, un <laughs> ungrateful ass, lying ass, selfish ass, dirty dick, dusty ass, bum of a man. Go be, shots? go be a liber. Yeah, let me hit a little gunshot, man. Yeah, go be a liberating queen and leave his ass, sis. You the prize, really. Hit the gunshots, man. That's my son's mom. Don't say nothing, man. She think what she want. Mm -hmm. She think what she want, nigga. That's that on that. Uh -huh. It feel good. Say something, nope. cheating ass nigga. I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> I, my only question nothing. is, what is the statute of limitations on this stuff like this? Like, I had 97 mentions when I opened my Twitter. They're like, ah, oh, it's coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting there like, I ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> I'm telling we great. <laughs> Everything's awesome. All right, we out of here, man.